Wrapping up Gordo in his prom dress. Look at the prom dress. He's ready for dancing and ready for romancing. It's Gordo. Hey, Fred, what do you think? Okay, all right. That's uh, okay. that's uh, Fred there, everybody. <gasps> oh, he's working. He's making sounds. Oh, yeah. That scared me. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Gordo, what do you have to say to the kids? I like mashed potatoes and gravy. Do you have any? I know it's not Thanksgiving, but I love some. Oh, Gordo, we don't have mashed potatoes and gravy right now, but we do have Lunchables. Would you like a Lunchable? Oh yeah, whatever that is. Give it, give it, put it in his mouth right here. Now Fred's sitting up. Oh, Fred! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, check it out. Oh, look at the wind blowing the fabric. The fabric is epic. Prom dress, prom dress. He's ready. Here comes Howling Spirits. Howling Spirit and our neighbors are probably watching out their windows right now going, oh my gosh. Look how big that, hey, give me five, Max. Oh yeah, good. No way. We've got a crushed piece, guys. Look, this hole you're supposed to put it through has been smashed. Pop is gonna get a tool. Hopefully we can fix it. Okay, we've got a prom dress. We have Deathstalker's prom dress. And it was designed uh, in New York by Betsy Johnson. It's very, yeah, very elaborate. It, it was a very uh, expensive build, but you know. We don't scrimp on our animatronics. We get them the best. Beautiful, you look beautiful. Hauntingly beautiful. Why is he looking into my soul with his mouth? <gasps> He's working! Alright guys, we're back. It's dark as night, because it is night. And we're going to plug them in, each one, and see what they do. I can't wait to jump scare you! <laughs> We've got two darling dollies. We might one get her. and two. We might get her today, guys. I think we might. I think we're gonna get her because I've got a coupon for 20% off. <gasps> and they have Grave Watcher. The first time I found her, I want her. I want Grave Watcher. I'm getting her. Okay, let's get our animatronics. I'm getting Grave Watcher and Darling Dolly. Both of them. Yeah, look at those dolly eyes. Yeah, you gotta see these eyes up close. Look at those eyes, guys. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh! Hello! Stefa, it is me, Jack Skellington. Hello, Maxie. <laughs> nice helmet. Oh my gosh, it's an alien. It is so good to be out of my box, kids. I've been in that box for six months in storage. Where's my Sally? Now I'm very angry. Dang, Max, look how strong you are. I don't like the position my body is in. Hey Max, do you feel very close to Jack right now? Yeah. <laughs> Help me, I'm upside down. Oh, where's my Sally? Hello, young Cam. Look how much bigger I am than you. Okay, it's time, it's time. Let's see if he fits, you guys are so worried. Oh my word. Look at this head, guys. She looks so creepy, but beautiful. Oh, possessed Penny. Why are you so cute? I just love her so much. I don't know who I love more, Ashley or Penny. Mommy's favorite. Who do you think is cuter, her? Just help me, help me. <laughs> That's so cool how her eyes change like that. Look at those stick legs. What the heck? He's so intimidating, but under that skirt, guys. Chicken legs. Oh, and he has a very revealing neckline. That's one sexy reaper. <laughs> yep, that's one. That's one fancy reaper. <laughs> Look at that sunken neckline. He is really daring with this prom dress. He doesn't even care. He is a daring man. He is just owning it. While you slide the noodles through the prom dress, let it hang there on the pelvis, guys. 
We should see if which one Cam likes more, Penny or Ashley. Well, she's Max's girlfriend, but I think Penny now. Ashley's gonna be real nervous of Penny. She's got it going on. She's not my girlfriend, she's Cam's. <gasps> oh, yeah, Cam can date Penny and you can date I Ashley. Have, I don't have Yet. <laughs> yeah, they're both murderers. Yeah, you don't want to mur murder a girlfriend, Cam? <laughs> no, she would never murder you. You're her precious Cam. That's what she just whispered. Is that your rocket launcher? Cam's rocket launcher. I've exposed my chest to all. <laughs> I am the sexiest man alive. So it's just the hint of his chest, not like, hey, it's just wide open here. It's telling the whole world we are open for business. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Juggling can be a cutthroat competition, and Stilts would do anything to be the best in the business, even if it meant knocking out the competition permanently. He was sure his 10-pin juggling act would impress the judges, but when he lost to a chainsaw-tossing lumberjack, he couldn't handle it. So Stilts used his 10 pins and took out the competition permanently. Now he stalks the city streets, begging to impress unsuspecting onlookers with his act but they better cheer loud enough. Otherwise, it's the last show they will ever see! Okay, that's pretty good. All right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> is that his voice? You are beautiful. What have you done to yourself, young man? Marshmallow fingers. I don't feel like the scariest guy in the room anymore. This can be so embarrassing. <laughs> Max is embracing his head. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Stilts, what do you think of the weather? I can't see it, ding dong. <laughs> Look at that massive head. It's so intimidating. Oh. Jack's just like looking down like he's casting a spell on him or he's gonna pounce. He's jealous. Okay guys, here's Grim's story. Watch out when the sun dips below the horizon and the dark blanket of night lays across your sleepy little town because Grim and his tortured undead brethren rise to stalk the lives of the living. Cursed to walk the night for eternity, reaping misfortune and ghastly dread to anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. Don't be fooled by their wicked sense of humor, <laughs> or else, while you are laughing, you might find that your funny bone, along with the rest of your skeleton, ends up part of their army! Forever! That is crazy. Oh yeah, she's looking good, guys. We should check her. Keep that on for Halloween. Yeah, do you think she needs to just wear them? Yeah, she looks good. Oh, oh look at Max's head. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Look at those poor butt cheeks. The man has no butt cheeks. I think we should name him Walter. Please name me Walter. I really like that name. It's very dignified. Oh, sweet. Awesome. I've got the legs for the girl. May I? Yeah. <laughs> May I? Awesome, Max. Baby boy in the sling. Oh, he's tired. He's gonna fall. Yep, there we go. Oh, yes! Check him out! Hunched Reaper. He is the best one. Yeah, his whole body moves. He's so awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love him. Lucky bottoms, guys. Okay. Lucky truly believed that laughter was the best medicine and would do anything to keep the crowd rolling down the aisles. 
Unfortunately, Lucky couldn't handle the silence when the fans headed home and the theaters went dark. It drove him into all-night clubs where desperate clowns risk everything, <laughs> including their lives, for a laugh. It only took one nearsighted magician with lousy eyesight to make his legs disappear for good and Lucky to lose his mind. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. And Max made his own. He made his own Harvester of Souls. It was, it was great. That was genius. It was pretty genius. So I'll put a little clip right now so you guys can see it. And then I'll link the video in the description also. Now that I have you, you shall be mine forever, ever, ever. <sighs> Now that I have you, you still will be mine forever, ever. <laughs> yes, Max just added a new mechanism. What's up guys? We've got Luke and Cam and Aspen here and Luke is a mine he's Steve. He's playing Minecraft. He's I'm still not here. Uh, Aspen is here. She is here. She's hiding and Luke is mining. And he's got a square chest. And guys, we've got some surprise animatronics to unbox. We have three. Three surprise animatronics. Two boxes here, and Max has a box over there, and we've got Marshmallow, and the neighbor dogs are barking at him. And so one of these animatronics needs a fog machine, guys. So that's what Papa's doing. We're getting the fog machine. We gotta hook it up, but we're not telling you what they are yet. And guess what? This isn't just a regular pickaxe. It's also a microphone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's a pickaxe microphone. Hi. Hello. Oh, His name is Fred. Hi, Fred. Okay, guys, we've got Fred here. I've been wanting to punch him in the face ever since I got here, which is like one minute. <laughs> he's going to mind Fred. This is Fred, our new dummy, and he's being a good boy. He's sitting there. He wants to watch. He's got quite an attitude. He's got a serious attitude, Fred does. Look at that. He's just like... Toot it up. Toot it up, guys. What the I heck? I can't beat him in a stair contest because he's not winning. Yeah, he wins, huh? And he's I'm got an attitude. Win. So we've got the fog machine over here. We got it hooked up, and we're waiting to see if it works. Okay, so Max has yeah. the scissors. I need help opening And Aspen has the puppy. And Luke is just mining the air because, you know, you need air. Ooh. And we've got one secret animatronic coming out. You guys get to see what it is. <gasps> yes, it's Gordo, guys. Gordo, Gordo the jumping pumpkin. Okay, let's read his story. Gordo. Good old Gordo loved scaring people. He would jump out around corners, pop up from behind the couch, hide in closets, wear camouflage, create elaborate outfits, whatever it took to get the scare. But of course, it's never a good idea to scare an elderly woman, especially if she's a 200-year-old witch. Well, as soon as she gathered herself, the witch cursed poor old Gordo, and now he's permanently grinning as a jack-o'-lantern. It hasn't stopped him from trying to scare folks, though. It's only upped his appetite to scare you to death. Oh. So he used to be a human. Yeah, he was a human. He got turned into a pumpkin by a witch. Oh, no, no, let's come see. Out. Oh, you had it big. Look at that plastic covering Gordo. Oh, and his stem. He's looking good. Oh, my. That's all there is. Yeah. It does work? Yay, it works. The fog machine works. Oh, he's in a flower. That's all that's there. Yeah, that's all that's there. We've got, yeah, just, he's just chilling. I'm 
There's something here. I don't know if that's empty. There's a base and there's instructions. And Marshmallow is walking through the flowers, smelling them, being cute. Oh, now Aspen is a Minecraft character as well. She's got armor. She has bubble armor. You can pop me. Yeah, that, so if you like fall, it protects you. It just pops. Yeah. Why does it not protect you? <laughs> not as good as you thought, huh? Poles. poles. We got some poles in a box. I love poles. Yeah, poles are great. Everybody loves poles. Yes. Hey, it's a cardboard. Oh, we've got probably fabric there. Oh, we have one more thing. Three, two, one, three. And uh -oh. a box, probably with I the cord. Can open it. What? Yeah, he's in a forest. He's, so tiny. he's exploring with flowers. Wait, there's a box inside of a box inside of a box inside of a box. Yes, it's infinity. I want to do one. Mm -hmm. That goes to C. So you have to find the. You do it. Never mind. Does this come with a costume or something? Um, I think it's just fabric that goes over his base. So he's on. Mm-hmm. It hides the poles. Okay. Look at that, the flowers, buddy. He's a happy little wolf. He's a happy little wolf, aren't you? Look at that little tongue. He's a happy boy. He's a happy little guy, huh? You got some more poles going in. Daddy's happy flowers. Yeah, he loves, he loves plants. He loves to chew plants. So nice in the shade right here. And Fred doesn't look very interested right now. I think he's waiting for the other ones. He's just like, whatever, guys. Yeah, he just, oh, it's fogging. The fog was seen fog. <gasps> oh. Why do you say things? I think this is a piece of cardboard. Oh, now I know. What about this one? Do you lift We've got yeah, poles going in poles. <laughs> Connecting all the poles. This is a very easy setup. Super easy. Not much to it. Yep. He's got a big old head. That's the crazy. They even have like seeds printed on the fabric in there. It does look like pumpkin guts. It goes like that. Sweet. Probably have to connect a wire too. And we've got a wire hanging there that says E. We've got an E wire, and we've got to figure out where to put the E wire. Now, where is his sensor? Oh, there's the E plug. It's attached to the fabric. There it is. So you just get the E thing and connect it to the other E thing. And, yep, their sensor must be on the fabric then. <laughs> Wrap the fabric around the base, like so. We've got Velcro. And then we get to unbox the inflatables tomorrow. Wrapping up Gordo in his prom dress. Look at the prom dress. He's ready for dancing and ready for romancing. It's Gordo. <laughs> oh, his eyes are squishy. Let's feel that. Hard plastic here and squishy eyes to allow the light through, I'm sure. Oh, look at this. This prom dress is set up. This looks good. I am. Oh, look at the hair. Do we need this? Yeah, he's got to have hair. No. It's supposed to go around. Oh, around to cover the black. I think you're supposed to unfold it. It's folded up. Ooh, there's an upgraded pickaxe. It's upgraded now. You can not only sing through it, but you can hang cardboard on it. <laughs> Multifunctional. It's like a Swiss Army knife. Okay, we got the fabric that Max is arranging to cover the black square. There you go. Ooh, it's got tattered, tattered sh shards hanging from it. That's cool. Ooh, this fabric is ultra soft. I want to make it my prom dress out of it. tatters hanging down. Nice. Get these tatters. 
I like the chattery prom dress, Gordo. You looking good. All right, time to try out this prom dressed man. He's going to be excellent, yeah. I'm sure. Excellent. Right in the bright sun, it's like 98 degrees right now, probably. That's what it feels like. Well, we'll we'll have to see where the sensor. I don't even see the sensor. Oh, yep, I see it now. So the sensor is right here, guys. Right there. Oh, I know. I'm gonna get jump scared. He's gonna jump scare me. Oh, he's working. Making sounds. Oh yeah! That scared me. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, he's so cool. He could be kind of by the trick or treat candy, even maybe. Oh, he's cool. Did you guys get jump scared? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if they get jump scared, guys. Oh. Yeah. He's awesome. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Max is gonna do the Are next jump like scare. It, it oh, I Gordo! You didn't even I flinch? Didn't Max didn't yeah. even Did flinch. Yeah. Okay, all right, we got Gordo set up. One more time. One more jump scare and then we'll open another one. Ooh! Oh, baby. I was pushing the stuff in and then it jumped. Max, come right here and do it. Do I unplug him when he stops? Yep, when he's all, he's all down. There you go. All right, now we have the next one. All right, guys. It's a secret what they are, but you can probably guess. It's a ghost. That's all we're gonna tell you guys. It's a ghost. That's the sec that's a secret. Yeah, let's bring it in the shade. Oh, there's a shovel too. Okay, you could dig some serious sand and dirt with that. <laughs> it works beautifully. It works beautifully. My best weapon. Yes. Hey, Fred. What do you say about Gordo? He's okay. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but I'm waiting to see what else you've got. I want to weird the story on him. Okay, we've got it opened. See if you guys can guess what it is. A ghost. It is. Oh, can you tell what it is, guys? We need a story. Check it out. Howling Spirit is the number two animatronic today. Okay, we've got the story here. Howling Spirit. Most residents of Little Falls say it's the wind, but that's just to make strangers feel safe. The truth is that Howling Bellow isn't natural at all. It's a ghost that has haunted the town since 1919, when a local man was murdered by an angry mob for pilfering food for his starving family during the Great Famine. Now, he stalks the town for revenge, keeping residents in their homes after dark, forcing them to sleep with the lights on and tell their children not to go outside as the sun sets, especially near the town cemetery. They all know the sound of that howl means he's out there searching for another soul, and they don't want to find their child laying lifeless on the cold ground with his eyes turned black and their heart made of stone. Ah, oh, it's terrible! Howling spirit, you're awful. Look at Luke. Luke, and okay. there's another animatronic that we unboxed. Oh, there's another one. Could you, um, We've got another one. Closer. We've got a jump scare animatronic. Okay, we've got another animatronic here. <gasps> All right, we're getting this Howling Spirit open. This is what the box looks like. I'm not watching Put all the stuff in there. We've got a plastic piece. That will probably Where be a, head? a back or something. Where is his head, bro? Oh, no. oh, that might be his head there. Yep, that's his head. Well, he's invisible, he's a ghost. So it's just a head shape. It just makes a head shape. Oh, we've got some controls over there. Oh, there's the fabric. We make this pretty hard to get out sometimes. We've got some frames in there. There's a frame, probably a base. That's part of the base. Yeah, part of the base. Part of the base. this. This is my sword. <gasps> Ooh. We got swords and shovels and pickaxes. Cool. And then over here are the controls. Uh, 
and some more probably arms inside of this I have foam. Leather armor. There's some leather armor. Oh, Max or Cam has an arm. So these are probably the base base pieces to put together. It's got all these poles in there. Poles, poles everywhere. What do you think, Fred? Hey, Fred, what do you think? Okay, all right. That's uh, okay. that's uh, Fred there, everybody. It's Fred. Yep, Fred. Uh, so, do you have any comments for the kids, Fred? Oh, okay. That was good. Yes, thank you, Fred. Thank you for that. So it looks like step one is to put the two pieces together for this. I'm sitting on his lap and I want to punch him in the face. Oh yeah. Oh, Fred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at Luke. Oh my God. Luke has an Enderman arm. That's an Enderman. Yeah. Let me touch. No, that's an Enderman. Let Luke. me touch you. Definitely an Enderman arm. Be marshmallow. He has me. Oh, he's giving you a hug. It's hard to tell if he's happy or sad though, because he's just, yeah, okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Oh, there's the base I've put together. Step one is complete. Max is attaching the C pole to the C base. Oh, that's D. Dang, look at C. C is. Yeah, Gordo. Gordo doesn't mind. He was an evil kid that got in trouble with the witch, so I don't feel that sorry for him and his son. He might enjoy it. He's a pumpkin. So pulls. There's one pole inserted. And then the other one goes there for support. Emotional support. And yeah, he's emotionally like supported. Yeah. And the third one goes there. Look at that fancy thing. Now this one goes on top. There we go. And this one's so cool because he fly. It looks like he's flying in the air. There's Cam. He looks like Mega Man, kind of, or Samus from Metroid. There's the prom dress. We have a prom dress. That is that is a beautiful bellowing prom dress. Look at that. It's gonna look beautiful in the wind. Now Aspen just put her head in the hose. Are you forgetting this? They're battling with their arms. Is it just a headpiece? Uh-oh, Cam's sneaking up for a sneak attack. I'm gonna go help. Back to the prom dress. Let's get back to the prom dress. Here. So you attach the bottom of the prom dress first, and, and then put the controls in place, and then you probably pull the prom dress up over him. So there you go. Just attach that top pole there. And the controls are up there. And then there's the another fancy one right there. We're not a step-by-step -step instructional type of people. You can watch Brick Thunder for that in HTJ Halloween and stuff. They do a great job with that. We're just, we just have fun with it. We just have fun with it. We just build them and have fun. And Fred, oh Fred, your feet. Okay, we're having a battle. We're having a Minecraft battle. And little Puffy is just sitting amongst the bracken. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, my. Look. Hey, little puppy. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that last controls just fit on top. Yeah, Papa just fit the last ones right on top there. Hanging. This is going to be quite a tall gentleman. I'm going to go see what's happening. Okay. Very tall gentleman. It looks like he's about seven feet tall. Let's see. Let's look at that box. Seven and a half feet. The box? Yes. Seven and a half feet tall, guys. Arms move up and down and make scary sounds. LED light up heads, heads, <laughs> hand, <laughs> head, hands, and chest. And there's the front of the box. Okay, Papa just placed the back piece. Piece of plastic just fits right there. Hooks right there. And now it's the pelvis. <laughs> Here's the pelvis, the most important piece. Definitely close enough. Yep. Oh, that's a high pelvis. Yep. Yes. You just attach the wires. Boom. Bingo. Wow. Bingo. What do you think, Marshmallow? What do you say to the kids? What do you think, buddy? He's stinky. He's just happy, huh? Oh, we got an arm. I think the arms are in there inside of the foam to protect them. I like to keep that foam for fun, and I never do anything with it. Well, the 
foam is supposed to be on there here. Oh yeah, we gotta keep the foam on there. Duh. Well, I do like to keep foam. We only get extra foam for boxes and stuff. I like to keep it, and then I hardly ever do anything with it, guys, but I always think I'm going to. But it looks like that's not a problem now because it stays on. It stays on, guys. It's not going anywhere, so I can't take this and not do anything with it. What do you think of the foam, buddy? Papa's fixing the prom dress. I'm the arms in this thing. Jeez. Yeah, it's quite a prom dress. It looks like it's a very high fashion designer. And this arm has a wire to it that you must arms connect. No hands. Oh, no oh, hands. It's a ghost. Yeah, it's a ghost. Oh, Max just got Gordo out of the light because he's afraid that he doesn't like the hot sun. Gordo, what do you have to say to the kids? I like mashed potatoes and gravy. Do you have any? I know it's not Thanksgiving, but I love some. Oh, Gordo, we don't have mashed potatoes and gravy right now, but we do have Lunchables. Would you like a Lunchable? Oh, yeah, whatever that is. Give it. Give it. Put it in his mouth right here. Fred, what do you have to say? All right, you guys heard it from Fred, straight from his mouth. <gasps> We've got some prom dress going on. We've got an arm. It looks very difficult for Papa to find that arm. Now he's connecting it up there. This, we're very technical here yeah, at this, this house. Is, this is, this Scientifically is. accurate. You just put the hooky thing through the other thing with the hole in it. Slide this, slide A and the B. Yep, and and there you go. You got you got a connection. You got a connection there that that will last for eternity. You got the head. I think it's head thirty. Whoops. Is it head thirty, Papa? It it's head thirty. You check the clock. Yes. Oh, slides right up into that head. Perfect fit. The head fits in the top of the prom dress perfectly. And then he's just putting the thing through the thing. There. Accurate. Green to green. I mean, Put it in there. Now, science. Yep. Yeah, the green cord goes to the green cord. Oh, they make it so easy. Yeah. So easy. I love it. Nice. We've got our connections now. Oh, hello, Gordo. Pardon me. I'll get that Lunchables in a minute, okay? That's right. I'm not too hungry. It just sounds delicious. How tall is Gordo? Three? Gordo, I think, is three and a half, four, four feet. Must be three and a half or four feet. I can look at this box again. Oh, we've got another cord to attach. White to white. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Oh. We've got a brown one here that's waiting to be connected probably to the other arm. No, nope, that's a white. This is why we don't do step by step. Yeah, because other people do those. Out. Yeah, other people do those really well. We're not those people. We just whap them together. All right. Yeah, daddy's tall. All right, he's putting the things through the other things now, guys. He's got to put the arm through the fabric first before he attaches the thing through the thing. Wait, how big is Gordo? Is he three feet? Probably three and a half. That's close so he's enough, sliding right? it through. Yep, close enough. It's like an armhole. It's accurate. Yeah. Now he's getting those two things and he's going to slide them through the other two oh, things. No, he Perfect. Oh, see? Perfect. Look at that. Oh, he's looking good. He's looking... Yeah, check him out from the front, guys. He's looking epic. He's really tall. Seven and a half feet, Max. He's gonna look so cool. Oh, at night, and you can't see the base really good. At night, he is gonna look epic. Epic. And he lights up, too. So tonight, when we get back from Gammy's, Gam Gams, we will plug these in at night to see what they look like, too. Now... He's doing another cord, guys. Just they kind of are waterproof that's connections. They say to twist them. Waterproof? Ooh. That sounds uh, hassle-proof. I've had so many of these out in the weather. That's yep. Cool. Yes, yeah, so we, we've had a lot out in the weather, and they've been fine. Except for the, our crazy windstorms we get. That's are we going to get it this year? Pro oh, I'm sure we'll get some windstorms this year. We get them every year. We get lots of wind up here because we live right by the mountains, guys. See the mountains? 
so. There's the mountains okay, right there. The and you've got more mountains this direction, but you can't see them. You can kind of see them there. So we're like surrounded by mountains here in our neighborhood, and it makes some crazy wind. We get crazy wind storms up here. We're like up, tucked up in them. So every year we've got a sad video showing our animatronics being destroyed, but we still do it. We still keep doing it. Looks like a voodoo doll. Yeah, that's true. Yes, do you attach the fabric now? This is a big Please. Velcroing that fabric. Yeah, good Stand thing we're that. six foot ten. This puppet is six feet tall, and that is tall enough to accomplish this task. Papa, go on this. Oh yeah, you could step up on the the steppy step step. There's the cord, which Max pro procured. Max is has it wet? Yes, Max has a cut on his face, guys. Max took damage, battle damage. Were you in a fight with Gordo or Fred? Fred, did you scratch my son? Yes or no? Okay, I'll trust you on that. Now Fred's sitting up. Oh, Fred! <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Talon. Hi, Talon. Papa is tearing that one. No, I'm sitting in the sun. They have a cover over the velcro. Oh, okay. Oh, go. Actually yeah, they were covering the Velcro, which made it very difficult for Papa. He's attaching the prom dress now with the Velcro. Which, yeah, most people will probably need for a ladder. So, guys, if you're putting this together, I would grab a step ladder. Because not everyone's dad is six feet. We just got All lucky. Right. Yeah, that? check it out. Oh, look at the wind blowing the think? fabric. The fabric is epic. Prom dress. Prom dress. He's ready. Good. He comes with steaks. That is important. Oh, Fred, what are you doing? Fred. Fred is doing something over here. Here comes Howling Spirits. Howling Spirit and our neighbors are probably watching out their windows right now going, oh my gosh. They're really at this this early. They're really doing this right now. It's August. Yes, we are. I don't know why anyone would be surprised at this point. Right, Max? <gasps> it's go time! Oh yeah, baby! Yes! Oh, he is loud. Does he have a volume? Does he have a volume? Nice! And he's blowing in the wind! It looks epic! I wish the bottom was covered, but I guess you can... We can, we can get our own fabric, probably. He's so cool! Look at that! I love him! Epic! Beautiful. So I imagine Beautiful. he's going to set himself off a lot in the wind because he's oh. right in front of that. Oh yeah, he'll set himself off a lot. Check him out! He's so cool! As some strong wind comes. Here's an example of some strong wind. Perfect! Howling spirit, uh, 10 out of 10. He's good, he's definitely good. Yep, oh, we got, we got another box to open. This is our third box. Oh, here's our final and third animatronic to open, guys. I bet you can't guess what it is. It's a secret, this is a heavy boy. Probably weighs 50 pounds. Gordo, what do you think of your new friends? It's so nice to have new friends. I'm so happy. I just would like that Lunchables about now. He thinks you're a Lunchables. All right, Papa's going to unveil this box. Fred is just laying there with his arms crossed behind his back. Okay, guys, guess what it is? Guess what it is? Death Stalker! Death Stalker! Death Stalker! Look at him. The gigantic box. That's so cool. I hope we see him in one of the stores that we go to. He's blind. He's seven and a half feet tall, just like the Howling Spirits. Oh my god, look at that. There's the inside. There's some fabric. Oh, hey, I'm gonna bear in mine. There's the back piece. It might be hooked onto his thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the story. We've got we've got a back piece probably there. A shoulder those are like shoulders. Yeah, those are probably shoulders. And a gigantic hand. Look how big that hey, give me five, Max. Oh yeah. Good. I got another five here. High five? 
High five? No? Oh, no. Too slow. Why can't you hold it in your ear? Max. Oh, yeah. okay, I have five. There's the other hand. Yeah, high five. Yeah, oh, high five. High five. Fine. There's another arm. There's an arm. Whoa! The head is huge! <laughs> yep, those hands are pretty big. The head is huge. It looks like an alien. Yeah, should we have Papa do that? I'll have Papa do that. Papa, do it. Max, should I read the story? Yeah. Okay. Let's read. Oh, wait, this is the front. That's what the front looks like. The back is over here. All right, Death Stalker. The Death Stalker is scratching at your window. He is growling beneath the floorboards and is the thing hiding under your bed. The Death Stalker is the shadow hiding behind the abandoned doll factory. He's climbing his way up the basement stairs, scuttling around the attic, and breathing down the back of your neck while you wait alone, late at night at the bus stop. But most of all, the Death Stalker is hungry. He is ravenous, starving and salivating over your bones. The Death Stalker smells your fears and turns them into living nightmares before he devours what's left of your mind as a midnight snack. Yum! Okay, that's creepy. Whoa, look at that. There's the head. That is a scary head. He's eating me. He's got this tube for the fog. He's eating me. So that's why we need the fog machine, guys. We need it because of him. He's going to blast it out of his face. Yeah, you hook him up to the fog machine. It smells like the Alcatic Dragon because it's bubble. It? Yeah, it smells like a new car bubble? smell. Is yep, it that's it. That's an empty box now. All right, look at this. We got a base already. We got some poles, some controls, a gigantic creepy head, some fabric, some arms and a back piece and some shoulder pieces and the gigantic hands. Oh, yeah. Those are huge. Those are creepy. Those are totally creepy. Hello. Remember the howling <laughs> spirit over there? I, I, I was walking on him last night. Of Legos. Oh, nice. Max, Max has been building animatronics out of Legos I, and Minecraft. I, I, I can't. I don't know how to make it. Oh. Never give up. Nobody ever accomplishes anything without failing and trying again. Sometimes failure is the best learning. You will learn the most from failing. Oh, we got a pole. We just placed a bee pole down, guys. There's another bee pole. There's two. Don't be deceived. Beeple. Another bee pole. Don't let it trick you guys. Just there's two. And then there's a support that you slide in the hole. Slidey, slidey. <gasps> another one. Slidey, slidey. Very technical here at Circus Maximus. We got another one. Pop. Wow. Put it together. That's how it works. Yeah. Oh, we got another one. Yeah. Seeple, Pop. Seeple. That was so Seeple. technical. You just, simple, yeah, simple. just pop them in. Get the poles, pop them in. That's I all they need to write down there. I cut off his hand. Oh gosh. Yep. Talon had a battle with him and cut his hand off. In his head. Oh my heck, are you serious? What? Oh, Papa just stepped on the pole. He got he hit the first victim of the Death Stalker. Now look, you slide this there, slide this there, boom. Easy. Oh, Wait, the support the just fell out. It wasn't as secure as we thought. There. Pretty tall. That's looking pretty tall. That must be where the shoulders go here. No, they're all best friends. Pumpkin, the ghost, and this. And Fred. Fred said, Fred does not want you to leave him out. He just said, don't leave me out. No way. We've got a crushed piece, guys. Look, this hole you're supposed to put it through has been smashed. Pop is going to get a tool. Hopefully we can fix it because without being able to fix that hole, it's not going to work. So thanks Spirit Halloween for crushing it. I don't know how that happened. Maybe in the factory, but yeah, thanks buddies. Awesome. I have confidence in Papa though. All right, Papa's got a, he's got a plan. It's not going to work because that's going to break off. You gotta open it enough to put the pole through. You can zip tie it. Yeah, you can zip tie it if you need to. We have all these gross yellow jackets, guys. They're trying to build a nest on our house. But you're not gonna! Because we're gonna poison you! Ah!
I hope you can get my body situated. I, well, I'd I, love to become alive. I, I, I have no eyes. I cut his head off, so he needs to be in Okay. <laughs> Papa's going to zip tie this. Spray I got to see this action. Genius. No way we're gonna Thanks, like, dear Halloween, for busting that part for us. One in every like, three or four comes down. Yep. Yep. We have issues with our animatronics sometimes. They Especially come busted. Especially if you get them through the mail. Yep. Like... Yep. You gotta cut that. But Papa is a genius, so. Well, all this has to do is hold it out. Yeah. Okay. It's just his pelvis. All right. We've got he shoulders in place. Fingers. While I was murdering yellow jackets, Papa attached the shoulders. In total. Which just. You slide the things in the things, guys. Mm -hmm. and, the things and look, go he's gonna slide away. some more things in. If you wanna know if I'm crazy, this is how you know I'm crazy. Take an ice cube, give it to me. Yep, or you just like ice cubes. <laughs> I, like I don't know if that's the definition of crazy, but. He's sliding in the things. It's Easy as pie. So yeah, that's easy peasy. You just slide the things in place. Okay, we've got a prom dress. We have Deathstalker's prom dress, and it was designed uh, in New York by nice. Betsy Johnson. It's very, yeah, very elaborate. It it was a very uh, expensive build, but you know, you get a small we don't scrimp on our animatronics. We get them the best. It's pretty fixed. Check that out, guys. They usually get some. Yeah, it's usually something, but Papa always fixes it. The prom dress is a little confusing, guys. Oh, look at that. Love That's creeping me out. Yeah, Luke's got, he's got some yeah, issues over here. I have two. Got some issues. My favorite song is It's Raining Tacos. It's Raining Tacos. It's Raining Tacos. No need to ask why. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. It's Raining Tacos. Yum, 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 yum. Bring your sour cream. Shell, meat, lettuce, cheese, shell, meat, lettuce, cheese, shell, meat, cheese, 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 it's raining tacos. Oh my gosh, you heard it here, guys. Raining tacos. This is crazy. I've never heard this song. Okay, I guess Talon just got his um, digital slave to pull up the song for us. Okay, you, you're hearing it here. Open your mouth and close your tacos. Okay, here comes the palm dress. How's he doing over there? Is he getting some sun? It looks like he's trying to get a tan. Oh, this prom dress is looking beautiful. Papa is a master prom dresser. Yep. Dressing people. Yep. We're gonna dress him up as Huggy Wuggy in the Huggy costume. Yep. He's gonna be Huggy and he's just gonna sit by the candy for Halloween. Yeah, he could be there. Again? That would be cool if he's by the candy. By the yep, definitely. That's the best place for it. I think that's always the best place. The fire pit and us on the driveway right next to the entrance. It works perfect. Yeah. What do you think, Fred? Are you getting a tan? I think he is. Awesome. Yeah, he's got a quiet voice, so you really have to listen. I'm being attacked by wasps, guys. All right, so we're sliding the fog <laughs> tube. <laughs> you don't like that sound? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yep, we're getting the fog tube through his head hole, and then it shoots out his mouth. See? It's very accurate, very he's a scientific. Butt tongue, butt tongue. It's a butt tongue. <laughs> so, yeah, you just slide the tube. Yeah, don't be scared. See, Papa's touching it. He won't get you. It's head time. We do have a step stool, guys, just in case. All right, it's head time. Head 30, it's head 30, woo! It's head o'clock, actually. Because it was head 30 last time, now it's head o'clock. I wonder what he looks like without that stuff on It's always something, huh, babe? Every time we do animatronics, it's always something. So it's all it is, is just a little flip of the fabric. I gotta see how this head actually goes on here. Are you in the billowing fabric? Oh, Papa right now, he's shoving a tube in there. That's what he's doing, there's a tube. He's shoving it up the fabric. So that's where it goes. He's shoving it up there. He's got the head and the head is going through the fabric too. Oh my 
goodness, I had no idea how this was going to work, and now I see. I'm it's backwards. I am in our tree right now, guys. I'm in the tree. That's where I am. Just standing in the tree. All right. Check that out. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's creepy as heck. I love his hair. Check out his little hair. It's off to the side. It's looking fashionable. And kind of punk rock. Looking good, guy. Looking good. All the wasps keep coming back. We're your friends. What happened? What happened? Where is everybody? That's my wasp voice. Oh, that's looking good. That is looking good. That fabric, hot to trot. His hair is gonna be different though, guys. Don't worry. His hairdo will be different. You've got some Velcro hair. I see the Velcro on top of his head. Right there. Ah, there's the Velcro. Right there, that's where it goes. So guys, you just get the Velcro, pop it on there. There you go. That's step 24. Yeah. Let's fix his hair prom dress. It's hot out here, huh? It's arm time. It's arm 25 or arm 15 probably now. We've got an H arm and an I arm. It makes it easy because you just look for the thingies that say H and I, pop them through the thingies. Left arm is H, pop it through the thingies. But the tricky part, guys, you gotta slide it up the prom dress. That's the hard part. Oh yeah, that's always the fun part when we do these, huh? Sliding those shoulders in, that's always tricky, especially with the fabric over top. Yeah, that looks great. So that was H, huh? And now we got I. So he's just gonna do the same thing with I, guys. Slide it through the fab, stick it through the thing. Boom, bing, bang, boom. Papa is an expert slidesman. Mm -hmm. Got he, a little bit of experience. Yeah, he's slid so many arms through fabric that he's an ex expert slidesman now. He's almost ready. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that arm. Fantastic. Oh, now you get a hand. There's a, an H and an I hand, probably. And then, see, you slide the things through the things. Mm -hmm. And it should be... You start school tomorrow, Luke? Yeah. How exciting! That's awesome. Luke goes to a different school than X. Ooh. Miss Bean. Miss Bean. That's Ms. cute. Beanie, beanie. I wonder if her first name is Kidney. <gasps> or Pinto. That <laughs> Look at those hands. Oh my gosh. Here's the other hand. Okay. He's going to slide the things through the things, guys. Slidey slide. I want to do that. Boom. Oh. You want to arrange his prom dress? He's got to go on this side. Look at his billowing fabric. I love that we've got wind today. It's making everything look exceptionally beautiful. It feels nice in the yes, it does. Beautiful. You look beautiful. Hauntingly beautiful. Why is he looking into my soul with his mouth? It, what does he see inside of your soul? I don't know. Just goodness, huh? So he'll leave you alone. Uh. He sees the goodness in your soul. All right. Oh, there he goes. Deathstalker. All right, now Pop has got a tube for the fogger. He's got to slide up the fabric, pop the tube in. All right, now we've got this. Is it poison to us? To attach that to the fogger. Is it poison to us? Yeah. I'm sure that if you drink it, you're probably what? going to the hospital. Oh, hi. You know what I mean? Here comes the fogger. Papa knows what he's doing. Yeah. I do not. I so don't want to go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Connecty, connecty. Everything's connected. Oh, one left. Just this last cord. He's looking fabulous. I'll fix his arm fabric. Here we go. Get this prom dress situated. Oh! He's working! That was a surprise. Oh my gosh. Whoa. He's working. Can I cut you a breath? Max. Check him out. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That is a lot of fun. Whoa. You can barely see him through that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cool. Oh, he's gonna be so scary this year. Yeah, baby. Check it out, the Death Stalker. 
butt tongue. <laughs> you like that one, Max? Yeah. He's fogging Luke. <laughs> So epic. <laughs> Don't breathe through it's your like, mouth. That's, that fog is like not the usual fog you would use. Lola, I didn't know. I just. What a dense bit. But. Oh. That's so awesome. I love him. His noises are so cool. I definitely got jump scared by him, guys. Yeah. Um, definitely. And. Uh, um, no, wait, like what's behind like the voice and stuff? And it goes, like, there's just an old man. Oh, so good. I love him. Oh, you gonna put them? Check it out. They're all together, guys. All the new animatronics. Do you know where we have put them? We can just leave them here because tonight when we get back, I want to plug them in again and see what they look like in the dark. No one's gonna steal them. How do you know? Oh, Gerald won't let that happen. Back, yeah, Gerald won't let anyone steal them. Plus, we have cameras. Yeah. Our neighbor across the street. Really and uh, these are our new inflatables, guys. We just got it at home. We've got this pop-up pumpkin, animated pumpkin, with a skeleton inside. We've got a 12-foot tree. And we have this truck. These are our new inflatables that we're gonna be unboxing later. Show. All right, guys, we're back. It's dark as night, because it is night, and we're gonna plug them in, each one, and see what they do. All right, Max is plugging in Gordo. I'll try not to set him. Oh, he's lit, he's lit up. So cool, huh? Oh, sweet. You want to wait till he goes down all the way? Okay. Nice. Now which one? The ghost? All right, next we're going to do Howling Spirit. Okay, Howling Spirit is next. So cool. That was great. And now the last one, Deathstalker. I don't think he, oh, yes. His head lights up. Sweet. Look at that now. Yes. So cool. Awesome. So cool, guys. There's our three animatronics. Let us know what you think in the comments. Which one's your favorite, guys? And we'll see you tomorrow with the inflatables. Yep, we'll see you tomorrow in another video with the inflatables. Wait. Guys, we're in the garage. We're getting Desmodus. I say his name right now. And in And we've got Marshmallow. Here's Marshmallow. He's coming out too. All right, let's get... Now I know his name. I know how to say his name correctly, guys. Desmodus. I've been saying it incorrectly in our Spirit Halloween videos. Hey, you can get down. Can you get scissors? Oh, look at you. No, but I can grab some. Marshmallow gets to have his first unboxing. Ah, uh, I see the back. Okay, there's the box. The box is opening. Look inside. There's nothing in this box. <gasps> look, he's Ow. like pretty much already together, pretty much. I know. So yeah, cool. I know. We got some instructions. Is that a paper cut? Is it bleeding? Uh, yeah, you did get a scratch. It's, it's, it's not bleeding, it's just a scratch. So here's the box. There's the front of the box. Oh, yep, there's the trunk part that he sits on. Oh, yeah, we got to cut him out. There we go. You got to release him from his prison, from his cardboard prison. All right, here he comes. Desmodus the bat. Desmodus the vampire bat. There he is. Oh, you look at that guy. Wait, we have to fill them. Oh. Let's get this out. Please. I want to do it. It has, okay. The sandbags are like fillable. Okay. Guys, do you want to help me? There's this platform. I got two bags. There's marshmallow over there. There's all our rocks we keep for our animatronics to weigh them down. We've got a, quite a collection of rocks. I remember Max is going to get some. Oh, a little marshmallow enjoying the grass. I'm doing a brick. 
and he's very enclosed in here so you've got to undo it a lot of a lot of these twisties Ooh, there's the mechanism the jump scare mechanism looks good hey marshmallow what do you think of this guy what is this crazy guy marshmallow he's like i do not know about this he's scared there's another some pieces some poles we got poles we've got a bat he is really in there securely isn't he oh yeah I do not want him getting out at night. Wonder he just turns on? Yeah, he just turns on all of them. Oh, Marshmallow. Marshmallow! He's <laughs> such a little woofer. Well. Yeah, I think there's a reason that they package him so well because he escapes. He escapes his box. While Daddy does that, I can read the story. Dad, do you want to hear the story? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read the story. Hey. All right, here is Desmodus' story. Some are just born mean. The bloodthirsty bat was born deep in the caves of the rainforest, emerging after years of gorging on unsuspecting forest dwellers. As his hunger grew, so did his size. His appetite is insatiable, so he spends nights stalking all manner of victims to drain them of their precious blood. You'd be wrong if you think you're safe just because you walk upright. Humans are his favorite meal! There's all the things about him. What? There's like... What is this? It says, for indoor or covered porch use only, multi-prop remote activator compatible, what? requires batteries, what? try me button compatible, sold separately, what step it? pad compatible, sold separately. I don't think, we, we, we're just gonna do the sensors. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, we can just do the sensors, huh? Whoa, we got lots of Papa. All right, look at Papa. He's setting up some poles. We got two poles. There's his legs. There's his can little skinny this? legs. Oh, little marshmallows just basking in the light, in the sun. All right, there's the mechanism coming out, being unleashed. That's quite a mechanism. It's nothing. It's just a box. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why is there nothing in it? It just supports the extra space so that it doesn't I saw Papa. jiggle. Oh, I... oh, under your foot, the little metal pieces. Look at the spring ball. Yeah, look at that spring. That's one powerful spring. Got to support a vampire bat that's like human size. I think there's actually bats that big. There is? Yeah. Come on. Ooh, look at these pieces. Look at that. Some little clips and some bolts and some screw things. Oh, good one. All right, so the mechanism C goes into C. How easy is that? C, C. Okay, look. Okay. to the camera? I see. Yep, that's a big that's old bat. I think that's yeah. a fake photo though. You can tell he's standing close to the camera, although that's not. Look at that. He looks like a baby bear trying dog. to stalk his prey. He does look like a baby bear stalking his prey. Yeah. Look at that little baby. He's stalking his prey right now. He's stalking he's us. Prey. Yeah. So far, this is up to my neck. Yep, it's pretty tall. This is like up to here. He looks so short without the. Yeah, let's look at him over here. Just laying there innocent. We know you're not innocent, sir. Oh, he's got a little bit of foliage on his little tootsies. You guys supposed to have that? He looks so innocent right now. Yeah. He likes his crab, except those teeth. When you put that one on, that's gonna be taller than me. Mm-hmm. He's gonna get up to six foot eight inches at fully extended. This is Mothman's new toy. Yeah, he likes the crab. So wait, like a frisbee to hit. Mm -hmm. Ah, slide it up, slide it down. It's as tall as me. It's as tall as me. Tall? It's tall. Well, yeah, it's about exactly as tall as you. Oh, I'm taller. No, it's not. It's not as tall as me. I'm taller than this. Yeah, it's a little taller than you, Talon. I go up to here. Mm-hmm. What about me, Mai? Yeah, it, you are just about the same height. All right, look at that spring. You got it. Bring it up like a trampoline. Pop it in place there. Look at that. Looking place. good? Yeah, <laughs> that would be very bad. But that won't happen, right? No, it's pretty. That's a pretty strong spring. I would be very surprised. Oh wait, so <laughs> when it jump scares, does this get loosened and it jumps up? Mm-hmm. Where's it? Like, does it stay uh, soft? Like, is it like wait, remember when I did the Lego bat? It it looked just like this. Mm-hmm. But bruh, for real, bro. Not like. Not like a, just a Lego bag, the thing I made based on this. 
Yep, Max made a Lego bat, guys. Yeah, he he made, made Desmodus out of Legos. We'll have I to show you. Skills. Yeah. And he has a pole. It goes down it. When we're done, we'll show the kids your bat. Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't There's seen a support it. platform yeah, for him. Wait, you can build a spider out of these. Yep, you can make a spider out of those wires. He's so fluffy. Look at how fluffy he is. Oh my gosh. He's so puffy. He's a, he, he's a big fluffy Yep, he looks like a little wolf. It's a tree trunk. It's a tree trunk. It's a tree trunk. So Papa just slid one part of the trunk right over there. Right through there. Oh man, that was fast. The bat is going on. That's taller than me now. Let's go that bad boy. Oh, I gotta back up just to get it all in there. It's tall. This one towel bad boy. That's a big bad boy. You like the little plants hanging from him? Just to add a little ambiance? It looks like you just ate a human that was like stuck in the snow. Yeah, he probably did just eat a human. Although he was tied in his box so that he wouldn't get out and eat a human. So you never know. I see a Velcro and there's a Velcro. Oh yep, there's definitely Velcro. I remember Brick Thunder talking about all the Velcro. I put it on. Good job, buddy. It's small. Oh, he's, he's getting that bug. Oh no, he's just chilling with the bug. He likes the bug. Look at his wings. Look at that extension. Oh, that's... Wow, look at those extended wings. That is a wingspan. Yep, that's Dracula in his bat form. It looks, no? it looks just as cute as Vampirina. Hey. <laughs> Our neighbors are probably like, not already. Come on now. Already? Neighbors not. What are not they doing over it. there? <laughs> just setting it up because, yeah. What are those crazy neighbors doing again? I'm like, yeah, this has right. This is supposed to be about two, not two weeks. Two, two months. months yeah. But we're going to start setting up in a month. You're reinstalling the other half there? Why is it? Look. Uh, it look uh, I like tacos. Ah! And tacos. <laughs> It's a burrito. Hey, look, this broke off my. You got to glue. Oh, I, yeah, I'll glue that on. Glue it on like this. I'll get some super glue in a minute. Let's see, glue it back on. Oh, wait, it go, it oh. Just on. maybe it's got sticky stuff on it. Yeah, it, it it's sticky. Put it all the on time. the Velcro. I got it. Wait. Nice, yeah, I mean, bud. I mean, a uh huh. I think he's missing an old Velcro. I think it might be pulled. Uh, maybe pulled a little. Take Where's this one off and then pull it over to the right. Like, no, this no. Velcro is a very delicate yeah. operation. He likes to go eat those plums. He likes to chase them and mash them with his paws. Did you know that, Max? I took Marshmallow out and he was mashing the plums with his little paw. What about the wasp? Were the wasps angry? They weren't there. But he was just mashing them with his little paw and then eating them. Got to connect the wires through the fabric. I can't. I can't. There's a wire. Is that it? You have to wing those weed, weed those wires straight through his body. Those are good instructions, though. Yeah, these look like good instructions. Good wholesome instructions there. I'm gonna connect these. Where would you make? They make it quite easy, eye to eye, and then G to G. Easy money. Easy money. I need. I made a snake. Look, the tower. Ooh, terrifying snake. It's a cobra. <laughs> it's not terrifying. I made Santa's sled. I made a candy cane. Now the final piece goes. The other final half. And then he's got no Final presents. piece. It's cool. It, 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 Connected got, with Velcro. Got, like, five From yeah. Get that naughty butterfly. We're gonna get him a pup cup. Pup cup. Yep. We'll get him it's a like, puppetino. Uh, it's, yeah. It's like a like whipped cream dogs can eat. At oh. Starbucks. Yeah. And go to Starbucks and I get got a pup cup. I got a pop for my folks time in my whole life. I got two. And you loved it, huh? Yeah. I like the chocolate ones. Wait, what, what kind did I eat? Strawberry and chocolate. Oh, oh we're putting the skirt, the prom dress on. Yeah. Look at the beautiful I lo I love prom dress. I love yeah, Max loves to arrange the prom dresses. Look at that. 
He's got a beautiful prom dress. It's already almost fall. It's a week from today. I'm so excited. He's like so excited to jump scare us. Look at that face. I can't wait to jump scare you. Ready? <laughs> My favorite food is garlic. People think I don't like it, but I love it. Don't turn them on yet. I want to do this stuff. Ready. Are you ready? 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 Good yeah. No, I'm scared. I'm gonna hide behind this. I'm scared. This is gonna be I'm terrifying. You just saw me build the whole thing. Look at that. Papa one handed it. How tall is it to you now, Max? Definitely taller than Max. Oh, yeah. I made a nice. Now, Marshall was like, What are they doing? Oh, I think he's plugged in. He's plugged yeah. in, Max. It's time. It's showtime. Yes. Oh, yeah. He just blasts off to space. He shoots up. Oh, his wings are going down. He's getting ready. He's resetting. Sweet. It's so excited. Max said it takes like 20 seconds to reset before he can jump scare again. Oh, now he's going down. It takes 20 seconds. And they say always turn him off in the up position. Okay. Oh, yeah! That was awesome. Did you guys get jump scared? Yeah. Ooh, and there's his beady red eyes. I almost got whacked in the face by Hellspawn yesterday. Yeah. He, the animatronic he jumped out yeah, and it was like right here. He's like, what is this? What is going on? What is going on over here? Scary. He came in the middle of the night. Now. Oh, it's all. Huh? <gasps> oh, he kind of warns you he's going to do it because he, he roars first. So it gives you a warning. Can we climb inside now? I want to take a nap. I'm done. Just a sec. It's still one mile and then let's climb in the house. Okay. Oh, I'm going to take your picture with me. We'll definitely fit in the garage. Yeah. Let's do them one more time and then we'll do a picture. All right, let's see if anyone gets jump scared this time. You guys, Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Talon's ready. He's trying to be brave. Yeah. He's about to get jump scared. Yeah. Yep. When's it gonna happen? When's it gonna happen? When? Yeah. Hurry for the neighbors. Yeah. Did you guys jump? We've got two darling dollies. We might One get her. and two. We might get her today, guys. I think we might. I think we're gonna get her because I've got a coupon for twenty percent off. Oh, and they have Grave Watcher. The first time I found her, I want her. I want Grave Watcher. I'm getting her. Okay, let's get our animatronics. I'm getting Grave Watcher and Darling Dolly, both of them. We will go get Darling Dolly. Yep, getting Darling Dolly. So I got a twenty percent off coupon for her. And Grave Watcher, is, she's pretty cheap. She's I think she's 80. only eighty-nine. Yeah, eighty-nine. That's not cheap. this one and this one. We're getting both of these guys. Guys, I have to have my tall husband get it down. Okay, Max can hold Grave Watcher. Papa will hold Darling Dolly. All right, guys. Wait, did you want her or did I want her? We both want her. You want her more. Yep. All right, let's go pay for these bad boys. One hour later. All right, guys. We got home from Spirit Halloween. We've got two new animatronics to unbox. We've got the tiny little three foot grave watcher. And we got him. The seven foot darling dolly. And Max's newest contraption, the jump scare skeleton. Okay, watch. Oh, yeah. That's Max's new animatronic. The jump scare skeleton. He's upside down. And he flaps. Flaps right in your face. It's terrifying. 
Oh, 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 he got a reload. Reloading. That's his new mechanism. We got that at Spirit Halloween too, guys, so he can make any of his animatronics he wants to do. And there's Howling Spirit. And we've got Death Stalker there. And, um, Death And Dismo Dismondus. Dismondus. You can see, um, Gordo. And Gordo is right there, guys. Right there. So now, now it's time for these guys. The two dollies. We have two dollies. Mm, whatever you want. We can just bring them both up there. You're going to just open her now? Both. Okay, let's bring it up there. Looks like she's got some work to do. Yeah, she's bald. She's bald. She's bald. So Max wants to open Grave Watcher first. The first dolly of the session. It's dolly day. Dolly day today, guys. Two terrifying dollies. Look at her. Okay. So it, she comes out like that. Her eyes, look how cool Yeah. So she's all pretty much put together. You just have to put her together. <laughs> Do you want me to read you her story? Yeah. Okay. Grave Watcher. The Grave Watcher is eternal. Keeping a tormented vigil over the dead is their punishment for past sins against the underworld that even the devil himself can't speak of. So now, Grave Watcher waits endlessly for their own demise, forced to lull the dead to sleep night after night, listening to the unholy moaning of thousands of corpses, taunting them, while Grave Watcher begs to feel the icy grip of death for one final slumber. Dang, that was intense. That was intense for such a tiny little dolly. So these are her, this is everything in the box, guys. Maybe the instructions would help. All right, Papa just put the poles in there. You just stuck the two poles in the base. That's all you have to do. Put your, put your base on your pole, actually. Yeah, two poles. Comes with the base part and then the two poles. You need to just slap them on there, guys. You just slap them on. And Max is foregoing the instructions and he's just gonna slap her on there wherever he thinks she's gonna work. So hopefully this is gonna be good. What, does it smell good? Yep, good job. Uh, there's a screw somewhere. Oh, you need a screw. Probably are in here. Probably need a screw. You got a screw. There's Marshmallow, sniffing the ground. Grave Watcher, she's like my favorite. Well, I love Darling Dolly too. I love these dollies so much. I like the Rising Doll too. She's awesome. But these are the two we got today. The Rising Doll I love that she's got these creepy candles in her hands and her little face. That's bald. Yeah, she's a bald baby. She's got Velcro, she has some hair. Do you think we, I did it right, Papa? There's a scarf, there's part of a prom dress. This is a prom dress. That's her headscarf. Yes. Her I need head to find scarf. a velcro. But she doesn't. Oh look, Max is Grave Watcher. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Marshmallow, do you wanna be Grave Watcher? Do you wanna be Grave Watcher, Marshmallow? Marshmallow! Marshmallow! He's so cute! You're so cute, puppy. Why are you wagging so hard, huh? Why are you doing the wagons? Why are you doing the wagons? All right, so Papa is screwing a screw in. You're supposed to put a screw on the top there. Yep, you gotta put a screw in. That's about the only assembly required. Pretty easy. Other than snapping two poles in the base. Ooh, it's even got a, a thingamabob. A bolt. A bolt. You got a bolt on the back of it, guys. Step There's a bolt. That. All right. She's put together now. Is that her front hair? There's her front hair, guys. Oh, beautiful prom dress. And then that hair. Oh my. And guys, I know it's not hair. I know it's a veil, but I like to call it hair. Oh, she looks beautiful. Yeah, no hair on her. She just a dolly. She's got a fancy Mardi Gras necklace, though. Yep, yeah. she's been on Bourbon Street, just partying with her friends. Max is situating her. Very beautiful. Grave watchy. Grave watchy. This, this, uh, this goes like a Oh, more fabric. It says it goes around. Oh, goes around her shoulders. I have flies flying at my head, guys. Flies. 
They think I smell good, I guess. Mm. Look at how is cute she such looks. Thing as a fly queen? A fly queen? I don't think so. I think it's just bee queens. And wasps? Yeah, I think just bees have queens, and I'm not sure about wasps. I just assume no, they have queens. have queens. You think they do? We're gonna have to look that up. If any of you guys know if wasps have queens like bees, comment down below. Comment and let us know, please. We would love to know. Yeah, look at those dolly eyes. Yeah, you gotta see these eyes up close. Look at those eyes, guys. That rhymed. I just rhymed twice in a row. Look at those eyes. She looks beautiful. Even with those slashes down her forehead. Aye. She's got batteries or the adapter, guys. She's so cool. And it's like six o'clock at night, so we have a little bit of darkness that we can kind of see their lights with. Take your dolly. We're gonna plug the dolly in. First dolly of the night. Little tiny filled with fright. I think that lines. You know that I am right. Cha cha cha. Okay. <laughs> All right, Grave Watcha. Where's her sensor? Oh, her sensor is right here on the front. Right there. Daddy's checking her. Oh, <gasps> yes! Adjust her arms. She's adjustable. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sweet. Now that looks good. Oh, yeah. She's so creepy. love her voice. I love her creepy voice. She's great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, guys. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. All right, it's time for Darling Dolly, our second Dolly of the evening. Her face is definitely the best looking of all of them. Yeah, her face is so cool. I can't wait to show you for real up close, not just a picture. Torso bends downward quickly for a startling effect. Eyes light up and change colors. Yeah, LED lights. Yet. She giggles yeah, and screams. Yep, we'll see her. Oh, should I read her story? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm excited for this story. This is probably going to be very macabre. All right. Darling Dolly. In the early 1930s, little Sally Smith found a darling Dolly buried in the backyard of her family's new home. The Smiths hesitated to keep the doll, but it was too late. Sally had already become infatuated. Weird things started happening around the house. Mrs. Smith blamed Darling Dolly. One night, in a panic during a terrible thunderstorm, Mrs. Smith buried Darling Dolly in the same spot little Sally had unearthed her. But when lightning struck, Mrs. Smith's steel shovel, Dolly's grave lit up with an eerie blue glow. The doll and Mrs. Smith were forever changed into something far more sinister. Sally swore it was a nightmare, but her father knew his wife was gone forever, and darling Dolly would be back to claim her next victims. Ooh. Yep. That is sinister. It's, it's her dolly combined with her mother. It, the lightning transferred her mother into the dolly's body. That is the story of darling Dolly, and that is very sinister. There's an arm. Look at that arm. Dang. She's got a wingspan. What is this? Oh, why is it arm? blue? But it looks cool. It looks like rotting flesh. Hello. Yes. Creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> a little hard to handle there. Were you petting Grave Watchy? That's her new name, Grave Watchy. That's what I'm going to call her. 
what they call a snap lock tool. A snap lock tool? What does that do? It's like a shoehorn. Take, put the poles oh, together. Oh, nice. You got a snap lock tool. I feel very special that we got that tool. Oh, there's another arm. It's clothed in fabric. Okay. Dear Marshmallow, what your arms doing? What your arms doing, Marshmallow? Look at that prom dress. Oh my gosh. That is such a nice prom dress. It's so beautiful. Oh, and she's already got her shoulders in there and everything. She's like hooked up. There's a box. Oh, there's a pole. No, that looks like her mechanism, probably. Oh, that's her head, huh? Ooh, they kept it carefully in the box. How creepy. Look at that head. Head. That is a good looking head. She has a great hair, dude. Wait, remember Ashley? Yeah. She has the same thing as Ashley. Oh, she had a hairnet? The hairnet? It just protects the hair and keeps it in place. Here you go. All right, you got the hairnet almost all the way off. Whoa, it's attached somehow. Whoa, look on that. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to cut that off. All right, look at that head. Look at that prom prom hair. <laughs> She's got prom hair. Like it better than yes. It's in her Max is giving her a hairdo. What does that mean? Like the mom, is the mom dead? The mom turned it, it, the mom fused with the doll. How? The lightning hit them and it, Combined the mom with the doll forever. And what? Then why is it not um nice? The mom. Yeah, the Mrs. Smith was probably a nice mom. So she's nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh wow, Max. And Papa is getting that box open, getting this base out. That's what's in there. The base is very secure in there. Yeah, them, like, like kids' toys nowadays. Yep. Crazy. So they don't shift around and break. Yeah. And get smashed like our last one. <laughs> it will. It will. Hello, darling Dolly. We're gonna have to think of a name for her. Samantha. It will. Samantha. Yeah, let's name her Samantha. She totally looks like a. Well, she totally looks like a Samantha. And she's just watchy, witchy watchy. But this prom dress is like truly deluxe. Look at this prom dress, you guys. It's so pretty. Yeah, she's huge. I guess, well, she turned into the dolly. She turned seven feet tall, that's for sure. I'm sure Mrs. Smith was not Wait, seven feet tall. Yes, the doll standing on her hands. Mm, maybe that's what it is. The mommy with the dolly standing on her head was combined to become seven feet tall. All right, so now we have the mechanism. That's the mechanism with the speaker on it and all the controls attached to some poles. Very scientific. All right, you put a C pole in the C. C, you just line them up. C goes into C, boom. And I bet you guys can't guess what goes here. Oh, D, D into D. That's what we just did. You slide your D in there and your C in there. Boom, there, now that's where we are. And, oh yeah, and A to A and B to B for the base. Boom, there's your steps. Easy peasy. Oh, secure the holder. Secure the holder. Oh, we gotta bend this one down a little bit. It was bent up too high. All right, we're malleting down this piece because it was pushed up too high so the support wouldn't fit in. Let's see how this works. Ah, uh, I think we got it now. All right, we got two poles now. The mechanism is right here. The G pole is right here. Boom. That's not the mechanism. I guess the speaker box, right? Just the speaker box. That's the mechanism. Papa's getting the prom dress, which already has girdle included. Yeah. Got the shoulder piece and everything already inserted and poles in there and everything. All right, now what are we doing? This part we forgot. So. The mechanism goes on now. So first mechanism, slide it in there, boom. G, H and G. Slide H into H, G into G, slides right in, it's like magic, boom. Now you combine the N chord with the N chord. As as like A, B, C, you should be able to. N to N. All right, we're gonna slide the prom dress over now. So you slide the J into the J, 
and the eye into the eye. Easy. Slide them in. Boom. Pop. Perfect. Okay, so Papa just slid in something here. All right, we've got prom dress precariously poised. Prom dress is poised and it's pointed out. It's floofed out. Look at that. It like it on, but it's so hard to get it. You have to climb up under that dress to get it. <laughs> like a little bell crawling around here. You're supposed to wrap around that. I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah. I love that dress though. It's very beautiful. Look at these two sisters. Two sisters in the wind. I don't know why you're supposed to like just kind of mold it into like looking like a hunchback, it says. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you mold a hunchback wire, guys. It's a wire that you mold to make it a hunchback. That's close enough. For... Yep. Now what time is it? Head 30. It is head 30, head 45. Well, you're professional dressman. This is how it looks half the time. Yep. The... Her hair is always in her face. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> We've got to pull up this, hoist the skirts, hoist the skirts. We'll take you guys with. That's what it looks exist. like under here, guys. Hoist the skirts. We got a mechanism. Dang, did I put on deodorant today? <laughs> I'm so classy. Okay, there's the there's the connectors. You must hoist the skirts to connect the C. Oh, oh, oh and oh. Does it say that in the instructions? Hoist the skirts. It says hold the dress. Oh, not hoist the skirts. That's unfortunate. I'd be so proud if it said hoist the skirts. All right, head 30. You slide the cord through the head hole, the neck hole. Slide it in there for the head. Grab a hold of that neck. Suit yourself. Get yourself suited. Oh, wait, look. The um, end of the neck, look. See this? This is a scrunchie. Oh. See that round thing right there? Oh, it fits over. Yeah, it's basically. It's a scrunchie. You just pull it over that, look, right? Yes. Yeah, so cold metal. That makes sense. You just slide the neck onto the pole. And then you put the scrunchie on that. Um, See how you connect that? So yep, connect it like it that. It's so cool like that. Slide it in the pole to the other pole. I put the scrunchie. This is our neck. Slide the scrunchie. Okay, Slide so. the scrunchie over the ring. A velvet neck. Velvet neck. Or silken. <laughs> silken neck. Her hair looks so beautiful. Papa, help. No, oh, look at her face. Yeah, her hair always looks like that. You know what? I might put some barrettes in it and hold it back. Should I? Look at Papa. Papa! Stop hoisting the skirts! Wait, wait. Inappropriate. 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 Yeah, it, it is inappropriate. Inappropriate. Hoisting the skirts. Let's go on the pants and... He had permission. He had okay. permission. There she is. There's, that looks better. Yeah. I like her hair like that. Whoa! Like that. Pigtails! We can give her pigtails! Just pigtails, bro. Pigtails would be so cute! So guys, you know what we're gonna do with Darling Dolly? We might dress her up as Kissy Missy. Why do you say might? We're gonna dress her up as Kissy Missy. Cause we have, we're just gonna take her costume off and her hair, or her head, and we're gonna put on the Kissy costume and see what happens. I put on Velcro. Yep, we're gonna do that pretty soon here in the next few weeks, I bet. And we've got, we're gonna put Huggy on Mr. Dark. If any of you guys were wondering, you know, our Mr. Dark is broken. Well, I did call the uh, hotline number for Spirit Halloween, or the zombie, Dr. Zombie, zombie something. The zombie hotline, whatever it's called. I called them, told them our situation, and they sent us out a brand new pop-up mechanism for Mr. Dark, free of charge, which should be arriving in the next one to two weeks. So our Mr. Dark is gonna be fixed. And then we're gonna turn him into Huggy Wuggy. Gotta get the cord ready. Oh no, another hoist of the skirts. Hoist the skirts! Are you embarrassed, Max? Max is so embarrassed right now. Cause I can't see it cause it's appropriate. <laughs> Hoisting up the skirts! All right, we got that cord down there. Plugged in the AC adapter. Oh yeah, Max yeah, wants to put, put yeah, Max has some sandbags ready. You wanna hoist the skirts too, Max? So daddy will hoist the skits. You get your rock bags. He has lots of rock bags. He got a brick. There's a big old brick in that bag. Honker brick. Not even a brick. Our big rock, brick shaped rock. Yeah, you gotta do the arms, bro. It's arm 30. She's almost arm. I totally skipped over it. Yeah, you did, didn't you? 
<laughs> I love how their instructions are so much better now. The pictures and everything. All right, we've got another. We got one arm to do, and these long sleeved animatronics don't make it easy, do they? Oh, she doesn't have long sleeves. She's got a tank top on, bruh. Got a tank top. Oh yes. Oh, nice. All right, you just slide the arm like that right through the prom dress. She's got a tank top on. She's looking like Darling Dolly now. Here comes another arm, guys. So you just slide it in until it clicks into place into the hole. Very scientific and approximate. Slide the thingy in the thingy till it pops, till it snaps, snap. Oh, Pop is gonna go through the back there. Snap, it snapped. You just go, you just push her in till it snaps, guys. When you hear the snap, you know you're good. There she is. Look at that beautiful lady. All right, I think it's time. And it's almost night, so she's gonna probably glow pretty good. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, sweet. Got a volume. Sweet. <laughs> yes. Look at her rising up. Rising up. You see how tall she's getting? The blue eyes and the red eyes. Are yes, the eyes are epic. This whole part right here is the best part. Yes, it is. She's going to jump at us, guys. She's going to get us. We're going to just stand here. And <laughs> okay. We're going to get hit. We're going to get hit. So close. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Darling Dolly, you a doll. She's beautiful. She's beautiful, Aunt Bess. So beautiful. Look at that face. Look at that beautiful face. She's so cute. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take a picture with these guys. Oh, oh. epic! There we go. There's both of them. Both of our dollies. Look at both our dollies! Yay! It's Dolly o'clock. It is loud. Yeah, it's very loud. Very. So awesome. And Max has his mechanism. All right, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Max is, in, er, Pop is in love with Darling Dolly. I think I have issues with this. I love how her eyes turn red when she jumps. So awesome. And there's baby sister down here. Two sisters. Two dolly sisters. Two dolly sisters. Scaring in the driveway. Two dolly sisters. Two dolly sisters. Two dolly sisters. Scaring up the neighborhood. All right, that is wonderful. All right, guys, I'm gonna go chill out. So let us know in the comments which one is your favorite, guys, and what you like and dislike about them. We would love to know. All right, guys, she's saying goodbye to you in a whispery voice. Whispery. Ooh. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna buy three animatronics and I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to buy Jack Skellington. Here's the Smoldering Reaper of Souls. I'm gonna grab him. Here she is. One Possessed Penny. All right, let's get these. I got Possessed Penny, Smoldering Reaper of Souls, and 13 foot Jack. Look at how much. Look at this cart. I'm about to go pay for it and take them home. All right guys, so I got Jack and Penny in here and I thought I would have enough room for the Reaper, but no, he won't fit guys. He will not fit. So I have to take all the contents out, put them in the back of the car and fold up the box and put it in the back. That's the only way it's gonna fit, so yeah.
All right, guys, what's up, dudes? We got a big old box in our room, and guess what? While we're having our home renovated up there, everything in our house has to fit in this room. Look at this. This is our storage room. So we have this much room and that much length, and we got Jack Skellington, the 13-foot <laughs> animated he animatronic might Jack. He might not. And fit. yeah, we're hoping so he fits. If he does it, what will we do? We'll Take see. Him outside and do it. And then bring I it think he's gonna fit because the corner. I think he'll fit. He glows. His head glows. He's got a light on his head. This is the box. He might fit. I don't Here know. Here it is. This is how and we got possessed penny, but oh, we're not doing it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, wait, can that. you That's a human. Papa? That's him to a human. That's a human man, and that is Jack. We're gonna cross our fingers that he fits because in this room. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we couldn't unbox him outside because we're having storms. We've got a really bad windstorm right now. How can he fit in this little box? Yep, he does. There's an arm. We've got an arm. His bow. Max has his arm. Oh, wait, that's a what arm? That's a bow. That's his little bow tie. It's a bat. It's like a little bat guy. Right there. That must be an arm. Yeah, that's big. Look, there it is on Talon. That's what it looks like. Those are probably, those could be legs. I think these are legs. Those are arms. And there's gigantic this arms. Looks like a man. Oh, there is oh. some more parts. Wow. With all the parts. There's, Max got another hand. Those have gotta be, I don't know. It looks like the arms and legs are about the same size. Maybe the legs are just a bit bigger. There's the hands. These are all legs, the arms are down there. Oh, oh, of course. I have yeah. a Jack Skeleton's hand. Yep. So if these are, let me do my calculations. Oh, there's his head. There's his head in the box. Right there. There's his torso. What's this one? I don't know. I think that's his shoe. There's, those are his shoes in there, I bet. Guys, I, I lost my arm and now I got a... <laughs> there's the torso. He's got, that. that's probably a chest right there. Oh, there's his head! Wait, this is supposed to be him. Oh yeah, you change you can change the face to this an angry or a happy. Oh, yep, let's see how you do it. You oh there's the male face. You just pop it off. Oh, yep, there's the other face. And his suit is in there. So Max just he's popping it off. He's popping it back on. Snaps in place. Show the angry one. I got the angry one right there. There's the angry forehead. So we'll see how Max does this. Wonder he just we'll just have to read the instructions. Got it. All right, we popped Keep it off. Going. Here comes the angry face. There. All right, snapped on the angry face now. Yeah, There's the this. angry face. Okay. Which one do you like better, Max? I like the nice face. You like the nice oh, face best? I yeah, so Max likes the nice face. We're gonna do the nice face. I like the, I like the nice face too. Hello, Maxie! It's me! Jack Skellington! Oh, See how the part, they go here and then here. I pop my head up. Oh, this is Papa's head too, look. Oh, my look. Yeah. My. Oh, yep, there's a piece. That's something. And we got, um, that might be his neck. That's probably his neck. Probably the clothes. Yeah, I think that's his neck. Yep. There's his mouth opening up. Oh, oh yep, there's his shoes. He's gonna ask Max how to put it together. He's watching. Yeah, Max has watched every yeah, unboxing video that's on YouTube you right now. Every video, you know how to do it more than me. I got big feet. And here is the base. It's in two pieces, so you probably have to put it together because it's gigantic. So that's what the base size Look is. What we're shoes. worried about. Oh, you can see the bottom. There's all the stuff. There's the music box speaker. Here's the bow. Speaker box. Here's the bow. Here's the it bow. looks like a hand. Yeah, I thought it was an arm at first. I did too. Found something. That's a light. Except probably a sensor. Oh yeah, maybe it is. Let's see. Look at that. All right, so we're getting the bases separated here. Very scientific. Max is uh, messing around with the head. Hello, Max Defa. It is me, Jack Skellington. Oh guys, look. I chopped the tip of my finger off last Ooh. night. Yeah, so I've got a big old bandage Wait, on. You yeah. Chopped it off? With a knife, I was chopping turtle food. Wait, you chopped it off? Yep, it was hanging off. It was the tip was totally off and it was just hanging there. Mm-hmm. Not to the bone, just just the skin. So that's why I've got a bandage. Yeah, I think it'll oh, fit, Oh, right? yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Okay, so the base is what we were worried about, and it looks like the base is gonna be okay. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> nice hair. You have to see this. Nice helmet. He looks like an alien. Yes, you do if look like an alien. Were real, that's what they would look oh like. my gosh, it's an alien! <laughs> oh. I want to see what it comes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited right now that this base is going to fit. Yeah, just wear that around town to meet and greet people. That's how you do the other side. Oh wait, not yet. And there's the suit all packed up. Ooh, there's, these are probably the tether wires to tether him. Alright, we've got one shoe and a base. We've got an alien boy. Oh, it is so good to be out of my box, kids. I've been in that box for six months in storage. Where's my Sally? Do you have Sally, Max? No. You don't have a Sally? Get my face on. Get my face on. I heard you had a Sally animatronic here. Get the, is she um, smaller than me? Max. Mad. Mad face. Like mad, Jack. Bro. Now I'm very angry. So angry. No, I'm happy. All right, so we've got a leg over here. Check that out. Two legs. Legs. So it's like the feet go on first. Is he walking? Yeah. That's like a fit, maybe. So we've got bottom legs. Bottom legs and feet. Little tootsies. And then me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, our house is taking forever. It's almost done. It's literally done up there. We're just waiting for one it's little gone. cabinet to be put in, and then we get to move back in. It's taken forever. We had some issues. I do. Look at that leg. I think he will, but we'll know for sure when we get closer. And hey, if he doesn't, then we'll just figure it out. All right, the so second leg is in place. And this one has a cord, guys. Don't forget about that part. Who we actually put his box down there. How are you gonna oh, get oh, the oh yeah, the speaker box is actually on the bottom of him. So right there. To reach all the way we have to get yeah, a Yeah, that makes sense. We're gonna tip gonna... him and then put him back up. Here's the speaker box, guys. It's got volume. Very efficient. Very convenient. Very convenient. And it even says the Nightmare Before Christmas in the box. So neat. Oh, we need the box to prop him on it. Oh. We're gonna get the box so we can oh, lay yeah. Jack on it. We gotta tip him down in order to make him fit. Oh, look at that pose. Look at that terrifying pose. Oh, that's creepy. Look at that. What? The picture, it makes it look like he's like, it's supposed to show that he's got motion, but it just makes him look creepy. All right, we got Jack laid down, laying down in his place. Look at all our stuff. I can't wait to move back into our house. You guys, it's wait, been six months. Piece? Is this piece up to me? That is your piece for oh. your animatronics. I'm an alien. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got some clothes here. Final. Yeah, what? The fabric is luxurious. It's a little thicker than I thought it was. Yeah, really. look at this. Look how luxurious. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at the quality of this fabric, you guys. Look at that. Beautiful. What a nice suit. Doesn't smell very great. It's kind of. Can I smell? Plastic. Yeah. It smells like a factory. Oh, yeah. God. Let's get this view. We'll get the view of Jack's feet and see what Jack's feet see. Boom. This is a seriously big base, which it needs to be to withstand our windstorms we get here. That's what we're worried about, guys. 13 foot Jack plus the windstorms in our neighborhood. Oh, geez. We get crazy windstorms. All of you who watch our channel regularly know that. Every year we've got a video of, look what the windstorm did to our display, because it just ruins it every year. Knocks everything down, and we keep doing it. We keep doing it, and it will continue to do it. It's worth the sacrifice, worth the risk. All right, we're gonna slide a pantaloon onto the noodle. Pantaloon. Yep, pantaloon onto the noodle. A very velvety pantaloon, might I add. Look at those legs, look at the length. Look at the leg length. Is that legs? Leg length is length. Like this. this is torso. All right, scrunching both pantaloons over both noodles. Those are some long noodles. Get that fabric on that noodle, babe. The longest legs ever. Yes. He's a professional prom dresser. He dresses all our animatronics. Many prom dresses. And now we're doing a leisure suit. A leisure suit, if you will. We are actually doing a leisure suit today, which is very exciting. We're used to just doing prom dresses on our animatronics, but we've got a leisure suit. So we can access. 
There's this little flap tail. I don't know the proper term for that, but I'm gonna call it a flap tail. Whew, just blows in the wind. I imagine at one point this was the highest fashion. Everybody wanted a flap tail. If you didn't have a flap tail, you were not a dapper gent. What is dapper gent? Dapper gent means fancy man that wears fancy clothes. <laughs> All right, Max is sliding those pantaloons. It's a professional pantalooner. Are you a professional pantalooner, Max? He is now, he wasn't before. Yeah, I love that he has an authentic bat uh, necktie as well. And look what we've got here in the corner, waiting to be unboxed tomorrow. Possessed Penny, guys. You got her and... All right, Talon, we'll see you later. Okay. All right, now we've got a hip joint, a pelvis. A hippage. That is a hippage. Hippity hop hop hippage. A, hip, a hippity hippage. <laughs> probably, I'll probably have the same kind of hips when I get old. Uh, <laughs> a little stiff. A little replacement. Little stiff there. hips. Stiff hips. Oh, look at that. Hip loop. It's a hoop. Yeah, it's, it's a lip. Uh oh. Hang in there, Jackie boy. Max, you're doing a great job helping. All these say. People yep, two people required. They probably even have a diagram, yeah, two people this. helping each other. <laughs> yeah, do you think that's next, Max? Heavy. I'm not to drop it because... Yeah, that is one heavy torso. There's the circle wire. Now we need to get the circle wire. I believe is that I. Match up the letters. Oh yeah, here's the diagram. There's the diagram of the two people, guys. I knew they'd have a diagram, babe. <laughs> they do have a diagram of two people. Yeah. I knew it. Look at that. It's so big. That is so big. It's ridiculously large. Look at that. All right. So now he's sliding that circle on. Well, you have to put that on first because if you don't do it now, you ain't doing you it. You won't be able to get it on. You know what they say. Here. Circle first, never worst. Hit. <sighs> Haven't you heard that? It's a very famous saying. It is. What, what? What was it? Circle first, they never worst. They didn't sell the witch again this year. I guess it wasn't popular enough. Yeah, they didn't resell the 12 foot witch. We have her and we love her. I guess she didn't make it. Yep. Uh. Oh, I see. Got to click it in place under there. Yes. See that, guys? You gotta slide those poles through the holes. Slide those poles through the holes. And then you insert this little bracket guy. Nope, right so fall apart. Ooh. How That's exhilarating. What you're on to save it. Look at that pelvis. I don't know if he's gonna fit. It's a pelvis and ribs. We'll find out. It's only one way to find out, huh? All right, connect the plug. At least they're like more waterproof connections. Yeah, yeah, it says made for outdoor been. use on there. Before, they're just kind of like pushed together and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, they're making them a lot that more secure now. <laughs> that is that is a beautiful connection if I've ever seen one. I never know which foams to take off, which noodles are allowed and which noodles are not allowed. I see a lot of people in YouTube videos accidentally taking the foam off the arms and legs and then having to try to get it back on, which is a pain in the butt. So guys, that's not wrapping protection, shipping protection. That is supposed to be on him. You want the foam on there. Uh, he's not Ooh. skinny. Yes, it says right here. Don't remove this foam. It's part of the figure. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Home Depot's got it covered, man. Diagrams of two people that? helping that each other. Sense. It's great. Do you do it like this, Pop? Can we do it like this? Yeah, we can do the hands however you want. Oh, I, I don't want it like this. I want it like this. Yeah, Max doesn't like it, the hands being upside down. And like that's, this? yeah, that's how we've seen it a couple times. Max wants them like that. Okay. Hands on. If you do the hands like that, then I feel like you should have the scary face though. Yeah, that's true. So scary face with the hands like, ah, like yeah, mad, like he's coming at you. Slide the noodle, guys. Get your arms, get your sleeveys, slide them in there. Hey guys, I've got a joke for you. Where do the Russians keep their armies? In their sleeveys. <laughs> Yep, that's his neck. It's that's his bone. Neck. It's his bone neck. Except. Oh, that's some nice plasticky except. foam. Except. Very moldable. Except. So this isn't part of his hand. This is the neck. Oh, sweet. Because if you see this metal wad, you put it on. Oh, Max! How did you know that from watching all the unboxing videos? Yeah. Yes. So if you have a Jack Skellington unboxing video too, Max has seen it. <laughs> He's watched every single one multiple times, yeah. right, Max? Yeah. Multiple times. And the way you flip the hand is. Okay, choose an arm. Well, we already chose the other arm, so it has to be this one. Yeah, they're both the same. <laughs> yeah, 
And slide the fabric around the frame, guys. That is how you do it. Very scientific. Yeah, I think I like the mad face. Mad face, I think. Yeah, yeah I, I like, I love the mad face. Me too. All right, slide that noodle in, guys. It's it's noodle 30. Time for noodles. <gasps> is it who I think it is? Cam! We got Cam back. Cam's back. All right. You got a new, what do you think, Cam, of how big he is? Mm, is it, it's way bigger than the shelter. Yeah. It they is. Close to each other and I saw that. Yep, it is so big. You must slide all the fabric over the noodle, guys. Don't leave any noodle unfabriced. That is the advice I'll give. Oh, is it is it bat thirty? All right, bat thirty. Did you check your clock, Max? It's bat thirty. <laughs> oh, look at that connector. You got to slide the thingy. Is that called the thingy? Like a wing nut. Wing nut. Yeah, because it's got wings, like Red Bull. Wing your wings. Yeah. Wing uh, uh, uh. This is the part I'm interested in. Oh, yes. You gotta Please, finagle Daddy that thing. Nuts. You gotta negotiate the heck out of this bat tie. <laughs> negotiate the heck out of it. Oh. See, yeah. You just uh, you can keep it from like breaking off as easy or blowing off more. I should say. Thanks to the wing nut. I feel like I'm a construction worker now. You are, technically, right? Yeah. Like you, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. So. See, there's where you tighten it up. Right there. And now we've got another connection to do. Another cord, weatherproof cord. Thank you, Home Depot. <laughs> That's such a great thing. They yeah, are kicking these, it up with their animatronics. They get a little bit better every year. Yes. Look at that. I swear, Home Depot, my favorite. Pick this whole thing up and I'm going to pull this box back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you handle it? Yes. Let's see. Oh my word. You putting it right there? So you can put Dang, Max, look how strong you are. You're like a strong man. Go. Whoa, precarious. So precarious. Oh, look at this body. He's just hanging out. Help me, Max. I don't like the position my body is in. Yeah, I guess we're just committed. We're just going to put the head on and wing it, guys, and hope he this fits. Is, super bright. is it? That's a good flashlight. Dang, that is one good look flashlight, bro. more that, like, shine like the whole entire place. Up. Like, it's ginormous. I want one. Flashlights head are great. 30. It's head 30. Head 30. I'm upside down right now. Help me. Ooh, look at the mechanisms in here, guys. Oh, my God. I'm going to give them a tour. Look at that. That's what it looks like in the head, guys. Have you ever seen this, this view before, guys? Did you even know that's what was inside of him? That nut. is what's inside Jack. I got a nut. Yep. Oh, you got a nut, Max? A wing nut? nut. Wing nut. nut? You know what they say? What if it's got wings, it's probably a wing nut. Oh, this is a tricky predicament here. Oh, gotta make yeah. sure everything goes together. You gotta get that neck on there. I gotta make sure. Yeah. Remember when we were doing it? Shove it in there. Oh, yeah. oh. look at that. Screw it in there. All right. Papa's doing righty tighty. And remember that, kids. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> and if you do this with your left hand, it makes an L, so you know left. Left hand mm -hmm. makes an L. Don't chop your fingers off when you're cutting turtle food. Hey, Max. It's, I have a Do you feel very hand. close to Jack right now? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Max got the neck on. That was easy. I was a little stressed for a second there. So I hold the head it's not definitely. I feel like when it's standing up, it's gonna be good, but it's not as strong as like some of the other things. You're, you're kind of worried about its strength. A little Why? worried. We'll see. Why is he Papa says he just the way he feels. He just yeah, is worried about him. Not going anywhere. <laughs> Papa is doing the other wire. He just connected the other wire, guys. Yeah, so exciting. So thirty. Is it shirt thirty? You're doing a great job holding the head, Max. He really appreciates you. Max, I really appreciate what you're doing for me. He's doing push-ups. <laughs> I really appreciate you, Max. 
Thank you for holding me so much. Did you see that you can have two different heads, Cam? Yes, two different heads. Uh-huh, see this part right here pops off and it, you, so you can make him angry or happy. You just pop the eyebrows off and he either has angry eyebrows or happy eyebrows. Did you guys ever think you'd see this view of Jack? Who would have thought? Look at this view. Yeah, he's down angry. Yeah, it's angry. Look at this view. Look and at that Jack. Is, he's like hovering above us, guys. Yeah. He's hovering above us. This is crazy town. I can't he's believe it. Oh, Papa's got to put the dang wires in. That sucks. That part sucks. Dang, that was easier than I thought. Help me, kids. Help me. I'm upside down. Oh, where's my Sally? Where's zero? What? All right, guys, I think they're going to lift Don't him up. Do that. Here we go. Here we go. Body time. Yep, you got it, bro. All right, Max. Oh, Max. Good job. Yeah, the you did it. Oh. All right, Max is a slider. Oh, you did it, Max. Good job. Thank you, Max Defer. I really appreciate it. Hello, young Cam. Look how much bigger I am than you. Uh, uh, okay, Max. it's time. And Max. It's time. Let's see if he fits. Let's see if he fits, you guys. I'm so worried. Please, please fit. Please. Oh, my please. word. Crossy fingers. Crossy fingers, Cam. Crossy oh, gosh. Okay. I don't think he's going to fit. Uh, you guys, he's too big. <laughs> oh, wait. Never mind. He's going to fit. No, no, no. He is very fitting. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's so precarious. <laughs> is he gonna fit? Yes or no? Comment down below, kids. Hurry! Let us know what you think. Mm, I don't know about that. He's barely, barely fitting. He, Look at that! No, his head is touching the wall. Oh my gosh! I am so happy we no, have these head. tall ceilings. Nice. Yeah, it is. Like this. But it's yeah, okay. It's not gonna like break him. Mm -hmm. But we can't turn his head on and stuck. So he barely fits. It's more than I thought. Dang. Bro, Look at it's that. Nothing. Oh my gosh. It, it wasn't that light. Yep. I think his head's going to fall down. This is the most precarious situation I've ever been a part of. So it's precarious. Like, something's going to happen. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Yep, his neck is. Yeah, barely. His neck is about to fall down. All right, guys. We just put a box under the base to kind of hold him in place yeah, better. So, touching. yep, that's be much better. Now he's just sitting. Oh yeah, we left a tag on his chest. My, oh so, my gosh! My, it's so windy. <laughs> the wind is so windy. It looks so I'm glad he's not outside. That looming man. Look what I just noticed on the ground. It's the Jack Skellington little puppet. It's like a little mask puppet I made for Max when he was little, and it's just right there, just chilling amongst our things. So I think it, it was a mask and a puppet. Remember that, Max? I made a Sally and an Oogie, too. There's Jack. <gasps> oh! He's his head. I am the best surprise in the moonlit night. Oh, my gosh. He's going. You can turn the light off if you want. Oh, that looks cool. Awesome. He's so cool. Awesome. I'm gonna look at him from up here. Let's look at him from upstairs, guys. Look how big he is to dad. I can with the fury of my recitations. 
Oh, he's so cool. He's so dang big. Yeah, it's somewhere. We don't know where the sensor is. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we got him working, guys. So awesome. What do you think of him, Papa? He's really cool. Yeah, he's he's so big. He is so dang big, guys. Oh my word. Giant size stuff, yeah. Home Depot, chill out. It's too much. Yeah, too. Are you gonna rent, give us sheds to go with it? Or rent storage space at Home Depot? Yeah, that's they're getting a little out of control with their giant size animatronics. Everybody is. But we buy them. <laughs> that's why they do it, because we buy them. Difficult to get it back in the same box. Yep. Yeah, it is. It is hard to get them back in the same box and, and just take them that apart. Box takes up a lot of space. Mm hmm. And there's a lot of yeah. space in the box once you get it in there. Yeah, so storing them, guys, is a bit tricky. Most people don't have giant ceilings to put Jack in. What if we just left him in our house all the time? He just yeah, lived there. I wish we could do that. You just want to leave him in our house? There's nothing wrong. Pop gets to play his games. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong. If it was more stable, we could. That'd be awesome. Another foot on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. That'd be so cool. Max oh, just said, "Well, I guess we know feet. our room is 13 it's feet no, tall." 13 feet and one inch. Yeah, 13 feet and it's yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna buy three animatronics, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to buy Jack Skellington. Here's the Smoldering Reaper of Souls. I'm gonna grab him. Here she is. One Possessed Penny. All right, let's get these. I got Possessed Penny, Smoldering Reaper of Souls, and 13 foot Jack. Look at how much. Look at this cart. I'm about to go pay for it and take them home. All right, guys, so I got Jack and Penny in here. And I thought I would have enough room for the Reaper, but no, he won't fit, guys. He will not fit. So I have to take all the contents out, put them in the back of the car, and fold up the box and put it in the back. It's the only way it's gonna fit, so yeah. What's up, duders? We're back. We're back, guys. We got two more animatronics to unbox today. Two Home Depot animatronics. We've got the Smoldering Reaper of Souls, who is eight feet tall, and I had to pull his contents out of the box in order to fit it in my car. And there we've got Possessed Penny. Possessed Penny is four and a half feet tall, and she's and her eyes so awesome. Red. I didn't notice that when we were at the store. That's awesome. Her she might eyes. be broken because I saw a video of it. Her eyes were red first when they turned red. Oh, so interesting. Yeah, I think she'll be okay. You wanna do Possessed Penny first? Possessed Penny is so awesome. I love her so much. She's great. All right, do we have a prom dress on top? Prom dress. Oh, one prom dress. Oh God, oh my. Oh, there's her bear too. Her prom dress is attached to her bear. Yep, his head. We've got a mechanism there, speaker box, some hips, a box with some stuff in it. There's her shoes. Oh, it's her head in there. There's the head. The head is awesome. That's my favorite part of her, is her head, because it's so pretty and expressionate. Look at this head, guys. She looks so creepy, but beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. And her eyes, her eyes are so great. And her little piggy tails. Why would she do that, Mr. Petty? Why would she do that, Mr. Petty? Would you ever do that, Mr. Mr. Teddy. Mr. Teddy has some plastic on his eyes to protect them. That is very the nice of them. Of Teddy. That's an oh extra God. little added bonus they did Look. just to oh keep God. it safe. Oh. oh God, Teddy is dead. All right, we got the film off of his eyeballs. Now, that was very nice of them to protect those glass eyes because they're glass. Mm -hmm. They're real glass eyes. Look at that prom dress. That is Teddy. one beautiful outfit. If that was my Teddy, I would be yeah. Alright, here's all the contents. Prom dress, 
head shoes. I, I thought there was no. Um, there's the base they just got out yeah, here. Yeah, this is easy. Oh, you have to and there is her shoulders and the speaker box right there, mechanism. All right, it looks um, like Squid Game shoes. It looks like Squid Game shoes. Can I put this on ever? Uh, Does it match up? Wait, yeah, I do this. Yeah, we're just doing it with no instructions today. Papa's kind of looking at them, so it looks easy enough. And then Max has the pelvis. You know, if you see this, put it on like this. Okay. This goes into this. Oh, yeah. You don't do it like this. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you could do it like this, but don't do it. Yeah, like don't that. do it like that because then you'll have to take it back out, huh? Got it. Oh. Oh, pants. Her pantaloons. There's her little pantaloons. Oh, her bloomers. Yeah, those are actually called bloomers. Bloomers. We got some bloomers. Why are they so small? Yep, you gotta tuck them out. Get yeah. those bloomers tucked out. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I see, there you go. Okay. There you go. Perfect, so now you snap the pelvis onto the legs, guys. F into E, so easy. Whoa. Then you gotta snap those little oh, yeah. snapper doodles. Come on. Jiggle it, oh. there, nice jiggle. Okay, now we don't put Give it a little put jiggle. Oh. There's her pantaloons. They're perfect. Oh. She's so cute. Okay, what are we doing? Next is the mechanism in the speaker box, Max. Nice. There is her shoulders, speaker box, and her mechanism. All attached there. You gotta make sure it's facing the right way. It is. Okay. Yeah, that would be the right way. Oh. Good job. I just it. Prom dress next. Dad's a prom dresser. Papa's a professional prom dresser, so this is definitely his job. Flip the prom dress on the body. This is what she's gonna be like. Oh, I see. You just hook the arm, poke, poke it in there. So put, the, the put the prongs in the holes. The same as the other one. Yep. You gotta slide I the can. noodle through the sleeve. So many noodles and sleeves lately. Noodles. We're gonna still have more noodles and sleeves oh. too. We got more animatronics we're gonna be unboxing too, guys. Secret animatronics from Spirit Halloween. We got more coming, more coming, and inflatables. And more inflatables. Yeah, more inflatables and more animatronics. And then we're gonna film a lot of other people's houses. And I can't wait, can't wait. It's gonna be great. Yeah, Jack is looming. Jack is just looming down at us, guys. Possessed Penny, I really like you. Right, and then her head. This yeah. is a pretty easy one. Not her head because it's a little yeah, tricky. You can't do it anymore. Little no. tricky. It's got to pop that. There you go. But why is it only one side? Oh, oh, she's home. She's home. Oh, God. Oh, her whole bear was stuffed in her bloomers. Dang, poor Penny. She did not like that. She was embarrassed because bloomers were like underwear, kind of back in the day, and so that's embarrassing. She doesn't like it. Oh, look at her Baby little bear. Out. She's so nice to her bear. She's so kind to that bear. She would never do anything to hurt it. But she did. <gasps> what? what? Oh, now we've got a cord in this box. Is she seven? Yes. She, she's probably seven or eight. You're just a tall eight-year-old. I'm seven. Yep, Talon's seven and Max is eight. You guys are both tall for I, your no, age. No, I'm almost seven. Mmm, yep, that's right. But it's not it's not on quickly. It will be that we'll arrange it so it's perfect. Oh, possessed Penny. Why are you so cute? I just love her so much. I don't know who I love more, Ashley or Penny. Oh. Mommy's favorite. Who do you think is cuter? Her? Did you just Yeah, which one's prettier? Penny you or Ashley? That, though. It's not in there. Oh. It's sensory in there. Is it? Might the be. tallest in here is him. Tallest in here is him. Definitely. Yeah, Jack's the and tallest Jack's for really sure. Tall. He's the tallest man in the world, probably. In, ha in Halloween decorations, he's the second oh, tallest. Papa's putting the sensor through her back now. It's disguised as a button. That is clever. Yeah. That's so clever. Look at Penny. Is she ah. so happy? I think she winked at you. <laughs> and she just like winked. She's like, hi, Max. Let's move the smoldering man over here. Sorry, Smoldy. I'm going to name him Smoldy because I have issues with names. Ooh, okay, I think we're in business. <gasps> Penny! Penny! Oh, Penny! Penny! Hello, Penny! 
Bueno, you good? Penneth. You good? You good, bro? But her hand is not good. Yeah. We fix it when she's on. <gasps> oh, her eyes. <gasps> yes! Whoa! Awesome! The teddy doll it has to be on the head and then she pulls it. What, what, what happens? You look like my new best friend. She's like, no, Papa. Yeah, so we can just adjust her arms to make the bear a little bit closer. Can we? Oh, it fell out. Her arm fell out. You're gonna arrange her nice and perfect, Max? Penny. Oh, Penny. Oh, look at those eyes. Yep. <laughs> That's so cool how her eyes change like that. That's awesome. Those eyes are so great. Oh, look at her now. She's like, hmm? Okay, We're going to do smoldering reaper souls now. We'll put you over there, Penny, but we'll be back to you. You can come back alive with the other guy. All right, so check out the box. It was already opened. I already had to take all this stuff out. Put it in my car in order to fit it, because I couldn't fit it with Jack and Penny. There's the box. And look at how big he is to a daddy. He's that big to a daddy. That is big. Our daddy's big, but that's big. I, I just love you, Penny. I just love you so much. You're so cute. I'm gonna fix her little bangs a little bit. Max is a good hairdresser. All right, Smoldering Reaper of Souls, along with Penny and Jack. We might do the Huggy and Kissy video today, guys. Yeah, we've got Huggy yeah, and Kissy I really costumes. Do it. I really want to do it. Yes, so we have I'm the costumes so from Spirit Halloween ready to so try on. So after this, we'll do it okay. if my mom wants to. Yeah. Okay, so Papa just pulled out a piece of cloth with the sickle. It looks like that. That's the sickle head. That is, that's gigantic. Look how big that is. It looks like an alien. And there's this other piece. Whoa. Oh, it looks like... Looks like an alien. It looks like an alien guy. Yeah, it does. Yep, that's cool. Take it out. And There's the scepter is. part. I bet this is really good. There's another part of that dang thing. Oh, it goes like... There's his ribs it and goes like some that. of his uh, oh. backbone. You got some arms. And we've got his torso ribs that light up, which is one of his coolest head. features. I love those light up bodies like the inferno skeleton and stuff. Oh, There's oh. a probably a pelvis. That might be a pelvis. There's a hand. There's a prom dress. Oh, that is luxurious. And there's his head. But he has the same pole as his dad. Uh-huh. Yep, same pole. Oh, there's the base. It's a pretty good base. Oh my. Reaper. He's sassy. There's his face. <laughs> so here's all the parts. I yeeted the box. I yeeted, straight yeeted it up. All right, we got all the pieces. Marshmallow's crying and I tried to get him so he can come up with us and then he just ran away from me. So I guess he doesn't want to come up. All right, we're going to begin with the base there and some poles. We've got some poles. Beautiful bee pole. Another beautiful bee pole. Oh, and then you hook it in there, I see. So luxurious. And now we need sea poles for the thighs. There's some, some thighs, some skinny little thighs. For such a massive reaper, he's got some skinny little legs. Look at those stick legs. What the heck? He's so intimidating, but under that skirt, guys. Chicken legs. This looks like it's a pelvis. We've got ourselves a pelvis. Oh, look at that pelvis. Snap. Snap, snappity snap. Dang, it's already prom 30. It's prom dress time. Max had to get a snack. Yeah. He's very hungry. Might as well get a snack while watching this. Yep, might as well get a snack. Put up and pause and get a snack. <laughs> Papa, that is that is one of the nicest prom dresses well, not, wait, that you've, you have dressed with. 
Oh, that's true. That will be soaking up some water. Not as water resistant as some other fabrics we've seen. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah. Dang, that's some soft yeah, fab. fab. That's some fab fab right there. Oh. It's fab fab. See how soft it is? So soft. So you drape it, guys. You drape it. You drape it on the legs and the pelvis. Make sure you do that part. Right, Penny? That's right. <laughs> Help me, help me. He's like Wooly, Wooly the sheep, and she's like Amanda. Oh, that's the real pelvis. It's like a crown of pelvis. He's got the hips though. Oh yeah, hips don't lie, guys. I wanted to get the Reaper last year, but yeah. I like, yeah. Wasn't he a little different last year? He might look a little um, better. A little updated? Yeah. yeah, I wanted him last year too. So I'm glad we're getting him friendly, because I love him. We don't have a Reaper, no, we have Reapers. We have a towering Reaper. All right, so you just, uh, there's a shoulder and abdomen there with a little bit of neck bone poking out in the speaker box. Our house is gonna be full of animatronics, guys. So we got all our stuff removing, getting our construction done upstairs. Our whole house has been remodeled. And it's ready to move in in a week and a half. But in the meantime, this is where we're storing all Papa, of our things. Play games? Oh yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think he can play games. We'll just stand up right there and then we'll get Penny and Phil. Yeah, it'll work. Got to snip the zip tie off. Don't make the mistake of leaving that zip tie on, guys. You don't want that. Don't do it. It's embarrassing. Yeah, you guys want a Pringle from Max? There's a Pringle, guys. It's very sweet of you, Max. Oh my gosh, is it rib 30? Woo! Oh, look at how nicely that fits on. Does it make you feel satisfied when it, things fit so nice? Yeah, this one, some of them are a little bit bent. Bent out of place. Oh, there's a wire, guys. <laughs> Connect that wire there. There's the prom dress is getting pulled up over the body here. Get that prom dress on your skeleton frame. Oh, and he has a very revealing neckline. Yeah, he needs a revealing neckline to show off his chest. That's one sexy reaper. <laughs> oh, yep, that's one. That's one fancy reaper. <laughs> Yes, but sometimes it is funny. Look at that sunken neckline. He is really daring with this prom dress. Yeah. He doesn't even care. He is a daring man. He is just owning it. Papa is really trying hard to negotiate this prom dress. All right, so Papa's decided it's better to attempt the arms first and then pull it on. So just drape it across the pelvis whilst you finagle the arms. While you slide the noodles through the prom dress. Let it hang there on the pelvis, guys. Like this. They did at your school? No, I wish. Oh, I was like, dang, I didn't know that. That would be awesome. This is the tricky part is all the noodling, huh? The professional noodler, prom dresser. Yeah, we should beef him up with some fake muscles. Just make him beefy as heck. More negotiating. You gotta really negotiate those sleeves through that noodle. Really negotiate the heck out of it. Well, Get I into know. it, guys. A I drapey. Was, I was right there. Mm -hmm. It's a very drapey and revealing gown. All right. Sorry. Connect the connectors. Here's Cam. Cam's here. Don't forget that part, guys, or you're going to be really upset. Hi, Cam. It's Cam again. We keep switching friends. I was over at some other place. Oh, Wait, now you're here, Cam, and that's all that matters. We're, we're doing stilts and grins now. Look at Penny. See what you think of Penny Cam? What do you think? She's cute, huh? Yeah. Max thinks yeah. she's pretty. We should see if which one Cam likes more, Penny or Ashley. Well, she's Max's girlfriend, but I think Penny now. Ashley's gonna be real nervous of Penny. She's got it going on. She's not my girlfriend, she's Cam's. Oh, <gasps> well, yeah, Cam can date Penny and you can I date Ashley. Have a, I don't have a one. Yet. <laughs> yeah, they're both murderers. No, I don't want to murder. Yeah, you don't want to mur murder a girlfriend, Cam? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, she might. No, she would never murder you. You're her precious Cam. That's what she just whispered. I love Cam. He's my precious Cam. Oh. We're probably gonna fight. <laughs> and Ashley's like, fight, Ashley's like, you better not talk to my boyfriend. Oh, look at this revealing gown. This would never work on a lady. <laughs> That is one saucy prom dress, though. He is really daring with that thing. Sure, you are exposed. Yes, very exposed. It's like he's a rock star or something, just showing that chest off. I wonder if when they were designing him at Home Depot, they were laughing about Wait, that. Like All right, slide the scepter over the pole, guys. 
lighting the scepter down over that pole. That's cool. That looks like a top part to me, but it's the bottom. Look how decorative. Then you slide another pole through that. All right, put another pole on. Jack has this. Mm -hmm. Jack has this, and he has this. I'm trying to think if we add a top this who has this metal. Yep, a nice metal uh, I'm neck. I'm to think that. A nice metal neck there. Slidey, slidey. Chicken pity. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Do, do, do. <laughs> Ah, that's looking right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the trickiest part of the whole build, guys. I don't envy my husband right now dealing with this situation. That looks like an alien, huh, Cam? Looks like the alien from the alien movies. Oh, and then you slide the hand over. No thing. It's a rocket launcher that shoots skulls. Slide it in. Oh, Max is doing one. It shoots itself. Is that your rocket launcher? Cam's rocket launcher. It's it gonna blast attended. stuff. It. Yeah. Yeah. If it was a blood knife thing. Here. Yeah, what if that would had blood in it? Like a blood knife. Oh, look what we gotta do. So Some do more wires. Have, do you think the outfit in the oh, huggy suit is made that. for 12 year olds? I'm pretty much as big as a 12 year old. Like. You yes, you are, Maxie. You're as tall as some no, 14 no, year olds. Guys, I, I cut the tip off my finger. I told everyone in the Jack Skellington video, but I had to tell you guys too. Oh, look at this tricky step. You really gotta finagle that hand in there. That is tough. You gotta find your way without seeing, I guess. No, I guess so. It's probably an easier way to do it also. Oh, dang, look at this, sliding the last piece. That is one sickle. That is a gigantic sickle. It is about an eight foot sickle with a nice pointy bottom. I love a good pointy bottomed sickle. Oh, those eyes are creepy. That's so cool. <laughs> what do you think, Cam? You like her? I didn't know that at the at the store. They, uh huh. They didn't. She didn't turn into red eyes. Yeah, I think that theirs might have been broken because that's what she's supposed to do. Isn't that cool? That's way cooler than before, huh? Oh, Daddy's got to get on the step ladder now. I wonder what Jack's view is like, what he sees looking down at us. Oh God, you would just stomp on us because we're so tiny. Mm -hmm. Look at that stuff. That oh, sickle is so cool. This would be us. That would be him. Oh yeah, he would, we're just like little ants. Compared to mm -hmm. that, and then we're or we would be crushed by a stand. Mm -hmm. Either one. Gotta slide that sickle head down on there. Get that alien on that pole. Everybody get your aliens and slide them on the poles. Snap them in. Click them. Oh, and then you have to connect some wires. Really struggling with the sickle today, guys. Oh, there we go. You got it. Yeah, that sickle, it, you, it's a real struggle. You did it, Papa. Head 30, I'm excited. And guess what else it is? Rain 30, the rain's coming guys. All right, it's head 30 guys. Gotta get that neck perfectly ready for that head. We're up really high guys, up in the cliffs. Caca, caca. I'm decided this year to do the heads all this way. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit different. A little bit strong. Awesome, look at that. Oh, you look so cool. Here's another piece of prom dress here. And it's got a wire in it, so it holds its shape. So it holds it over his head. Look at this. <laughs> He's such a cheeky man with that open shirt like that. So cheeky. My dress is open. My prom dress. I expose my chest to all. <laughs> I am the sexiest man alive. Oh, now he's looking even better. Oh, Reapy, you are such a dapper gentleman. Hot tamale, hot to trot. 
Oh, I see. You gotta drape it over there. So it's just the hint of his chest, not like, hey, it's just wide open here. It's telling the whole world we are open for business. <laughs> this chest is open for business, ladies. How about this? Was this a snake? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a cool rope. That's awesome. Did you see this rope, guys? Yeah. That's great. Look at that. Those details are really, they really matter. They really matter to me. Yeah, see how it drapes over now? It's not so much like, hey, I'm here with this. Yeah, I'm trying to think of which rock star I'm trying to think of, like the singer for Queen. That's who I'm trying to think of. Nice tying. Were you a sailor? <laughs> Doesn't matter. That is one you nice sailor me. knot. Oh, he's looking cool. Jack is like, ha, you have nothing on me, sir. <laughs> he looks gigantic when you look at him like that. And then when you compare him, it's like, oh, never mind. We've got we, not so we, and friggin' huge. Oh, he just woke up. He just woke oh, up, guys. Oh, yes. Kids going in the backyard. Why? Let me go check. Yeah, find out who they are. Awesome. So awesome. So cool. I love how the sickle lights up too. Let's trigger him again. There it is. There's the sensor. You are mine. I'm here to devour your hopes and dreams, leaving you with nothing but Awesome, I love him. Little Penny. Yep, there's Penny and the Reaper together. Best friends, best friends. All right, guys, let us know in the comments which one is your favorite, guys. Let us know which one's your favorite. We would love to know. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>What's up guys? Look at what they're carrying in the house right now. It's a new Spirit Halloween animatronic. And we have another one. We'll show you what it is in just a minute. Let's put it look, right here. Look what like Fred, look who he's holding. Oh, Fred's got a pumpkin today. Here's Fred, we've got Fred here with us. He is very eager to see this be done. All right guys, we got two new animatronics today to unbox. We've got Grim, who is six feet tall. Yeah. And at the back. Oh, uh, that's a big story. Oh my gosh. And here's Stilts. And Stilts is eight feet tall, guys. Yeah. Seven foot nine inches, which is almost I eight feet. I can't wait to see his story. Okay, should we read his story? Yeah. Okay, here is the story of Stilts. Juggling can be a cutthroat competition, and Stilts would do anything to be the best in the business, even if it meant knocking out the competition permanently. He was sure his 10-pin juggling act would impress the judges, but when he lost to a chainsaw-tossing lumberjack, he couldn't handle it. So Stilts used his 10 pins and took out the competition permanently. Now he stalks the city streets, begging to impress unsuspecting onlookers with his act. But they better cheer loud enough, otherwise it's the last show they will ever see! Okay, that's pretty Dang. We will because, oh wait, we need to get the kids off too. We will because his head is white on the top. My, I want you to open it. Um, be well, you're going to get jump scared. I'm going to get jump scared? Oh, we got to pull these little things off. Do we have scissors still? Oh, Look, daddy's gone. Go open it. You're going to get jump scared? Are you serious? Not jump scared, but you're going to get like. Like kind of scared? expect this. Max, how do you know Look, this? From all these. Oh. <gasps> oh. You're right. It is a jump scare. No wonder his face got mashed in that other video. So they just shoved it in there like that. Our face is a little mashed, but not too bad. Not too bad. Tim. Oh, look at those eyes. They look awesome. He's very different. Yes. Look at that neck and the hair. Look at his little tuffets of hair. Oh, there's a tuffet hanging. Look. <laughs>
<laughs> There's one just hanging, we gotta cut it off. And guys, we're waiting for a thunderstorm to come. It's on its way. This sounds like thunder. Yeah. Guys. Fred, what do you yeah, think? Yeah. What do you think, Fred? Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> is that his voice? <laughs> I love it. That's definitely That's what his voice. voice is. So we've got his head. We've got an arm. We've got a leisure suit. Not a prom dress today. He's got poofy hair and a little hat. And look at this mess. <laughs> You are beautiful. <laughs> I don't like how this is on the chin. If it was a you don't like the chin, the chin triangle, the chin wrinkle. You don't like the chin wrinkle. His face is deformed. What's wrong with the chin wrinkle? Oh, gotta dump some stuff out. That was not easy to get out. <laughs> Here's the shoes. Here's I see some bowling pins. Remember, I did the clown that had the swollen eyes. Mm-hmm. Yes, peekaboo clown. <laughs> Those are some nice shoes there. Nice it's shoes. So, um, I need to see a bowling It's a big blob of pieces, guys. It's just a big well, blob I of pieces need, right now. Bowling pins are bigger than a real bowling pin. Yeah, they kind of are, huh? Yep, a little bit bigger. Pin on my house. Ooh! All right, here's the arms with the bowling pins attached. Those are some nice arms. And guys, if you didn't see in our other videos, this is the room our whole house is packed into while the upstairs is renovated. And it's done, we only have one more thing to do. They just have to build a little cabinet around that steam unit there. That's all they have to do and we're done. So like one more week guys and we will move upstairs. But in the meantime, this room is where all of our household items are packed up in. And we've got to unbox animatronics in it too. How fun is that? All right, there's a bowling pin hand and arm already attached. That is convenient. With the pool noodles. You gotta have the pool noodles. Those are bloody. All right, there's the leisure suit. Leisure suit. And we've got the giant 13-foot Jack Skellington watching. And the smoldering reaper of souls here. And Penny. What was her name? Why can't I think of her name? Penny. Penny, Penny, Penny. I don't remember your full name right now, but I'll remember it in a minute when it does not matter. Um, but that's Penny, and she's got beautiful eyes. Yeah, she's a murderess. She's a murderess. Don't let that cute face fool you guys. So yeah, we've got a room full of animatronics and a room full of Fred. Fred, how you feeling today? Okay, that's good. All right, it's shoe 30. Putting the shoes on. Max is an animatronic master now. He's so good at animatronics. He wants to build his own. He builds his own every day, guys. Max is trying to build his own animatronics. He has all our leftover poles and pieces of things, and he puts them together and makes animatronics. He's all about it. All right. Some more poles. That's a giant leg. That is a leg, isn't it? Oh, yep, those are the legs. There's the legs. You gotta snap a leg into the bottom leg. The thigh, thigh 30. That's a tongue twister. It's gonna snap that on there. Snap, perfect snap. And there's the other leg Kamathy has. I'm gonna snap this leg in there. Ooh, these are actually nice. Look what I can do. They're like big fat marshmallows. Oh, Max is gonna open the leisure suit. Oh, look at your fingers. What have you done to yourself, young man? Marshmallow fingers. There's his leisure suit. Dang, those are some long pantaloons. The longest I've ever seen, I believe. Max, you're, his legs are bigger than you, Max. But on Jack Skellington, Max goes up to just his knee. That's how tall Max is, just to his knee. Everybody's so tiny compared to Jack, even Stilts. Stilts is gigantic. Stilts is a large man. Oh, he's gonna be intimidating that Reaper. He's gonna be so like bummed he's not that big. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be like, oh, I wish I was that big. <laughs> marshmallow fingers. This is this is it. This isn't taking long at all. Not at all. But, but, snap the pelvis in, guys. You gotta snap that pelvis in. All right. Uh, snap. Yeah. I heard a snap. I heard two snaps. But, and I there's the mechanism stuff. and the speaker box there. Like and another mechanism. Yeah. Oh, there's a cord stuck Ooh. to the leisure suit. All right, we've got a hoop. The hoop is going, it's like gonna be I the waist. Oh yeah. 
The hoop goes around that, guys. So don't make the same mistake as we did and don't put it on until before. Put it on before attach you attach that two pelvis. Of a baggie. Yeah, it's definitely to, put not, the hips on. It's not too of a biggie, it's just for the stomach. This is like the stomach. Slide it on first. See guys, don't do what we did. Do it this way. Slide it on first. Or you're gonna be so bummed. There you go, just pop it in there. Yeah, perfect. Now you can double pop that back in. Snippity snap and snippity snap. I didn't hear the snap. <gasps> we will in a minute, it's so satisfying. I love the snaps. <gasps> will you get a snap? Two snaps. So efficient, so satisfying. Yeah, now we've got the arms, the bowling pins, and the top of the leisure suit. And of course the haid, and it looks like shoulders. Or hunchback, something like that. Maybe that's a hunchback, or probably shoulders. Mm. Oh god, I think Stilts is taller. Mm. Yeah, Stilts is way taller. He leans all the way over. Yeah, Reaper is looking so insecure right now. <laughs> Wait, oh my, gosh, guys. Sure there's a towel yeah. I don't feel like the scariest guy in the room anymore. This could be so embarrassing. Oh. Yeah, he's he's gonna be bummed. Oh, Stilts will win. Yeah. Well, who would win between Jack and Stilts? Uh, I don't know. Probably Jack. I don't know. Stilts is pretty intimidating and large. Both be two Stilts on the thousand arms. Yeah, Jack is the pumpkin king. Look at this top part of the leisure suit. the moss <laughs> yep, he's hunchy. Alright, pull the leisure suit up and let it hang there. So you can add the shoulders. Now it's shoulder time. You gotta kind of just shove those in there. That's like a shove a It doesn't really want to go. makes no sense right here. Yeah. This part is a quandary. Shove it down in there. It looks stable to me. It works. Mm -hmm. All right, we believe that's his left arm. So is it fabric sliding through the noodle time? It's always that time, guys. We've done this so much. Anyone who does a lot of animatronics knows that it's often time to slide a noodle through the fabric. It's just what time it is, a lot, quite often. And prom dressing. But today we don't have a prom dress. We've got a leisure suit. Grim has no clothes, so no clothes for Grim. He's naked. Fred, don't get any ideas. Don't be weird, Fred. Don't do it. Don't be weird. All right, slide another noodle through the fabric time. It's our favorite time of day. It looks like it's working pretty it's easily today. 30. Arm 30, Max. Check your clock, yep. Max must have an Apple Watch on. <laughs> this part can be tricky, but it looks like this is going very nicely. And you just click the thing through the thing. It pulls through the holes. Here we go. We got it. Max is embracing this head. I kissed him on the nose. <laughs> hey, you need help? Oh. <laughs> Good night, sweet times. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, stilts. You're a lot smaller than I imagined. <laughs> Look at this bowling pinned man. Papa does not like that hunchback part. He says it's a Do pain in the butt. Need it? Pain in the butt to get in, guys. Just remember that. When you get to that hunchback plastic part, this part, don't get too mad because it'll make you mad. But try not to get too mad. Head 30, kids. Head 30. We'll do it um, back 30. Back 30. Back yep, back 30. And then head 30. Why is his ear so big? Yeah, he does have big ears. Well, these ears are big. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Stilts. He's going to have a complex. Sorry. He's going to be so embarrassed. Sorry, my child. <laughs> you can't see it because of your hair. So Look at the yeah. size of that head, bro. That is a serious head. It's head 30, Papa. Oh, yep, there's cord. There's the pluggy cord. <laughs> Grim is going to be so cool, too. I can't wait for him. And Fred. Fred, you look so tired. Did you get enough sleep last night, Fred? Thing. Did he drop his little can, his little pumpkin? Oh, Fred, get your pumpkin. Oh, it is head 30 and we're missing it. Oh, head 30. It's the most important time of the day. Let's we'll see if Papa can do it without a step stool. Oh, another part is bent. Well, Spirit Halloween stuff is bent somewhere. Yep, we found a lot of our Spirit Halloween props have bent parts. You gotta say something. You have to bend that. Oh, yeah, look, guys. 
It's a little bent right there. A little bit bent, makes it hard to put in. Stilts, what do you think of the weather? I can't see it, ding dong. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, he needs some whitening strips. I've got some whitening strips if you want to borrow some stilts. Just don't give them back, throw them away and you're done. Papa's got us trying to straighten that out. Okay, let's see if it works. See if this works. Papa had to bend it back into shape here. It's all bent. Oh, it's gonna work. We've got a connection, guys. We got a connection. Yeah. Papa did it! Look at that massive head! Not yours, Papa, his. <laughs> Look at that massive head. It's so intimidating. Oh! You're bald. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, I think I hurt his feelings. You can tell his expression. It's a little hurt. You get your eyebrows like microbladed eyebrows, sir, because they are pristine. All right, now Papa's doing some wire stuff. That's the official term for it. Oh, guys, I just thought of something. If you guys are looking for a really good channel with the best animatronic collection on the planet, Twisted Trails, guys. Twisted Trails. Yeah. They've got every animatronic you can think you of, and it's a huge haunt. Here you go. Here's some oh, thank you, sir. Now he's trying to put the hunch back, back in. <laughs> That's two backs in a row. That would make a weird sentence if you had to write it out. Got to put the hunch back, back in. It would feel wrong. Yeah. It just feels wrong, guys. All right. Yay. He's done, Maxie. It's time for the cord. And we're going to do sensor because we don't have enough step pads. We need to order like 50,000 step pads. Okay. You ready for this, Cam? All right, Cam's got the best seat. All right, still wake up. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh. He's giant. Oh, he's so big, bro. Oh, I love him so much. The kids are going to be so scared this year. Check it out. That is awesome. <laughs> Stilts is the man. Stilts is the man. Let's two more times. Two more times, and then we'll turn him up. Look at this. I kind of wish they had a couple different sets. A couple different voices. Oh, Stilts. He's so awesome and huge. Look at Jack. Jack's just like looking down like he's casting a spell on him or he's gonna pounce. He's jealous. Jack is jealous. Awesome! Stilts, we love you. You're so big. Yes. He's so great. Good job, Mac. Look how his head stopped. That's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, look at the eyes. The eyes are like Home Depot quality. <laughs> Home Depot's killing it with their eyeballs. For real. Look at that. Looking good, Stilts. Your chin is a little bit not puffed out, but that's okay. There, there we go. Is it Grim 30? Okay, we'll get, yeah, we'll get these bags out of the way real quick. All right, you want me to read Grim's story? Okay. All right, I think, oh, his star is on only the top part. Okay. okay, guys, here's Grimm's story. Watch out when the sun dips below the horizon and the dark blanket of night lays across your sleepy little town because Grimm and his tortured undead brethren rise to stalk the lives of the living. Cursed to walk the night for eternity, reaping misfortune and ghastly dread to anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. Don't be fooled by their wicked sense of humor, <laughs> or else, while you are laughing, you might find that your funny bone, along with the rest of your skeleton, ends up part of their army! Forever! That is crazy. I would love to see an army of Grimm's, wouldn't you? Yeah. An army of Grimm's? That'd be a very expensive. Heck yeah. All right, here's the box. There's little Grimmy. Fred is not impressed. I don't know what his problem is. Come on, not impressed by stilts? Are you serious? Who couldn't be impressed by stilts? Mm-hmm. I'll go grab some more high food now. Look at all these bones. Dang. Bones. It's a lot of bones. 
Oh, there's his head. Head in the box, head in the box. Ribs, pelvis, face. Oh, uh, he's like, I'm Oh, not yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> he's just like totally okay. peeking at everybody. How cool does he look? I love his eyes so much. His eyes are the best part. Bye-bye. Got instructions in the box. It's a box of instructiones with illustrations. Oh, and a foot. One foot. Oh, two tootsies. There's two tootsies. Yep, I think you're right, Max. I think you're right. There's a little pole. Two little poles. Here's another one. Gotta put the feet on there first. Oh, the feet. Yeah, duh. Feetsies. Foot 30, Max. Foot 30. Mm-hmm. That's what time it is. Max knows how to do that pretty good by now. Good job. Put the bone B inside G. Oh, look, Figi. You got to slide B inside G. So slide the pole inside of the bone first, and then click it in place. Clickety click clack. Clickety click. Look, I slide it on. I nice. Good job, buddy. So the wires are all like hidden inside of him already, which is so cool. Yeah, you put K down here first. K. What about the pole? Inside the pole only K. Do I do this? Yeah, you like kind of lock it in there how you do. Put the bone in the foot, and now on this one, you slip the pole in last. So on this one, you put the bone plastic first and then slide the pole in, so it's kind of backwards. There's a thigh. All right, sliding the bone over. Knee joint first. There we go. And get the other bone and slide that into place. Nice. And then it looks like it is torso time. All right, there's the top part, which already has the wires built in. It's so awesome. The wires are actually built into it. it makes it way easier and so you don't see anything. It's just awesome. Look what I made. My Oh, that's a nice ramp, Cam. This is so easy. Like easy this? peasy. Lemon squeezy. Boom. So satisfying, guys. Just gotta slide some bones and some poles and stuff. Satisfying as heck. You pose it however you want, and then you tighten it. Mm -hmm. I see sensor. Okay. Oh, there's a sensor on his little pelvis. All right, boom. Here's the other one. You wanna try this one? A little tricky. It's kind of like those kids' Max. toys where you have to slide the shape in. Max. Good job, Max. You did it perfect. And then it looks like all the all you have to do is just stick the head on there, and then the cord. It's boom. Yeah, this is one of the easiest. I put the head on, but it's too tall. Yeah, this is one of the easiest animatronics we've ever built. Yeah, do you want to? All right, Max is going to don the head. He's going to do it. All right, Max. It's head dirty for you. Woohoo! Oh, so satisfying. I know that. Slide that pole in there. Don't look up, I just can't see. Yeah, just turn it until it goes in. I'm going to twist it and wiggle it. Oh, this is what it feels like to be six feet. <laughs> God. Pretty much. Now look at Stilts. It's just hovering above us. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Look at that. And you plug the connectors together. Looking cool. You get to pose him however you want, guys. There's only one arm. Yeah, Max has posed him the way he wants. Now it looks like all we need is... All we need is to plug him in. All right, it's plug-in time. But look how thick this is. Yeah, that is a thick cord. Thick plug. You gotta plug it in his bum bum. Sweet. Oh, I see it moving. He's getting ready. There's a sensor. On his pelvis. Awesome! It's too loud. They're busy burying something in the backyard. Yes! And we'll have loads of fun. So cool. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah! The night is young and I'm ready to party. Yes! He's ready to party. He's ready to party. <laughs> Uh 
awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, because he says something different every time. Mm -hmm. And we will terrorize the living until we own this night. Are you with me? Yes. Halloween is ours. Woo! He's like from the um, Evil Dead. He's one of those skeletons. How do you think he is in the I don't know. He says a lot. Lots of phrases. I love him. Oh, he's going to look so good in our yard. <laughs> I love him. I love his eyeballs. Look at those eyeballs. Look at those gentlemen. Yay. Now we've got four fancy gentlemen. I mean, sorry, with Fred, five gentlemen and a little lady in here. That, so that's awesome. Oversized by everybody. Yep. Hey right, guys, we're back at the Home Depot. We're gonna buy some more Halloween stuff. My dad really wants that robot from Home Depot. Yeah, we, Papa really wants it. We might get for his birthday or something. Yeah, because I just don't know if we can fit something that big, so we have to yeah. maybe get something small. So just like, I want that black doll and I want a little skeleton. Pose yeah, I want the black doll and we're getting the skeleton. I don't want the ones when you pose them, they just fall down, they're like very cheap. Yeah, we need the a ones posing when you pose them, they're still dead. Yeah, we need a lock in place poser. Yeah. We're gonna look at the skeletons. Max wants to pose and stay a skeleton really bad. Here, we'll flip around and we'll get the dolly and then we'll come to the skeletons. Okay, here's the dolly I want. Look at her big feet. Oh, okay. another skeleton. Because I, I kind of want him, so. Bet you do. You can make a mo three feet. This is like, no, that's not. Okay, here's my dolly. That's the display one. It's the dolly I want. Oh, look her feet. I know her feet are huge. Look at them piggies. Did you get her? Oh, I love the color black. Let's get her. We're getting her. Okay. Okay, come on, dolly. Come here, dolly. We'll see how much they are. Here's our dolly. We're getting our dolly. That's the one I was talking about, that creepy one. Ooh. Look at these cool tombstones. These tombstones are awesome. Yeah, let's go get a pose and stay. All right, here's the pose and stay, buddy. This is the pose and stay right here with the glowing eyes. Is that the one you want? It's only 30 bucks, guys. I was looking on Amazon and they were like 50 to 60 and they had bad reviews too. They didn't stay put. These? Yeah. So these are perfect. Wait, were the same of these? Yeah, they looked the same, but they were a lot more and their reviews weren't good and it said they didn't stay in place very well. But these are great. Yes, they are really good. See, it's perfectly movable. Is this what you want? Yeah, but you already have a three foot. All right, let's put Skelly in here. All right, they're hugging each other. They're hugging each other. They'll be nice and safe for us. Oh, he does come off the base. Indeed. monster Marsh monster all right we're gonna pay for our best friends we've got two best friends in the neighborhood two best friends are going home two best friends are coming with us right Max yeah <laughs> oh yeah she's looking good guys we should check leave her that on for Halloween yeah you think she needs to just wear them yeah, she looks good. What's up, guys? Oh, she just went off. She does. I'm going to put it in pigtails. This is our second three foot, 12 foot skeleton. Yep, we have another one, but it's displayed downstairs. So Max wanted to bring this one up because this is the one he plays with and makes animatronics out of. And there's his eyes, guys. Check out his eyes. We might put him by Quinn. Yeah. And you can pose his arms. Yep. So this is the three-foot skeleton at Home Depot, and it is a miniature version of the 12-foot skeleton. Like three foot and like yeah. Three 
How cool is he, guys? So this is all the new stuff we just got at Home Depot, guys, minus Fred. The best pose. This, 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 or this, uh -huh. or this, yeah. or the normal pose. Comment down below. Yeah, comment down below, guys. What's the favorite pose? What's your favorite pose of him? like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's another pose. We got that too, okay, guys? Any pose, guys. Let us know what you think he should be doing. And then we've got Fred down here. Fred's from Spirit Halloween. Fred. We know how you guys comment squatted him. Yeah, you guys, from a lot of your comments and likes, you, you told us that you want us to get Sinister Steve. Yeah, we got a lot of comments saying, get Sinister Steve, get Sinister Steve. So we got Sinister Steve, guys. We're gonna unbox him. All right, okay. here's the scissors. Let's see if you can do it this time with the upside down trick. <laughs> yeah, that works. And this dolly, guys, I named her Shelly. I named this dolly Shelly. She's so cute. Well, I'm gonna give her pigtails. I just gotta get some rubber bands. Uh, I can't find mine because they're all packed up. Okay, so here's Sinister Steve's box, guys. A pool noodle. We got a pool noodle. Bobby says don't remove this from. Yep, don't remove the foams. Keep it on the. Keep it on there. There's his head. Oh, there is his head. Look at that creepy head. Oh, flappy neck. He's got a flap neck. Flappity flap. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. No Is it marshmallow? Is it a little marshmallow? I believe. Is he he looks like he Yeah, he looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, he's just a creepy looking guy. Oh, look at Max's head. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what does marshmallow think? Oh, cool. oh, there's the tools that fits in his little tool belt. Hammer! There's his hammer. Oh, dang, that's a strong hammer, guys. That ain't that ain't no joke. He's like the Home Depot tool man. He gets all his tools at Home Depot. There's his base. There's his screwdriver. Check that out. So nice. And there's M. Oh, there's his ruler. I got a ruler! He's got very nice tools. They were nicely made. Two poles, Max already knows what to do. Yeah. This is done enough. Oh, there's his motor and his voice box, the speaker. Check that mechanism it's out. Pretty like nice. This or this? Eh. <laughs> there's the two shoes. Oh yeah, that would hurt to stand like that. I can't do that though. You can stand I like that? Sit, oh, I see. I think they did it once. Oh wait. Let's just yeah. that stable. Yes. <laughs> I think you do it center. Max is gonna slide the poles in, clickety click, and then we'll put the pool noodles on top. Are these accurate? Is, is my legs this long? Are your legs this long, Max? What do you think? You've got some long legs, I don't know. And, yep, they are the perfect size of your legs. And he is about as tall as Max. He's four and a half feet tall, same with Possessed Penny. Why is it? It's a little bent. They always get bent in there. Slide the noodle, guys. Slide that noodle over that calf and the other pool noodle. Yeah. To grab his leg back. Uh-huh. Gotta put his onesie on. Oh, start to put his little onesie. We've got a onesie. It's her first onesie, babe. Adorable. Yeah, well, I bet the other clowns had onesies. Oh, yep, there's his tool bag right here. I can't tell. Oh, that's a nice ruffle, Max. Ruffalicious. There we go. Oh, ah! you look beautiful. Yeah, you're doing great. Slide the fab over the nudes. Yep, you got it right. Good job. Can you hold it up? Slide that fabric right over that noodle, guys. You get that little pantaloon, pull it out there so it can fit. Clowns love ruffles. Yes, clowns love ruffles. Looks like Marshmallow has found himself a rubber chicken in there. He's getting into those rubber chickens from our last unboxing video. <gasps> he just squeaked it. <laughs> Did you get the rubber chicken, buddy? It'll only go, it'll only finish one more. Look at that mechanism. That is serious. Uh, it's a serious abdomen. But you kind of have to drop both of them on there at the same time. Mm-hmm. Nice, Max. Did you like Marshmallow? This is so fluffy. Oh, good. 
Nice snap. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Oh, that's a tricky one right there. It's about ready to go. Oh, there we go. That was a nice snap. That was ASMR right there. All right, now you gotta pull it. Oh, is that the sensor? Yeah, pull the onesie up. Find out where the sensor goes right there. Very convenient, it's got Velcro. Sticks right in there, so nice. Pretty easy peasy so far. Yeah, especially with Papa. All right, look at that onesie. Yes. All right, Max has some arms. This is the tough part. Yeah, you got to slide them in through yeah, the sleeves. The yeah, go through the bottom. At least they put these on there. So oh, yeah. Got to slide that little pin off, guys. Slide in that arm through the fab. Once you get it in there, it'll be easy. Well, once you get it under the ruffle, then it will start sliding better. Slide that noodle through the ruffle. We got some nudes and some ruffs and some fab. <laughs> the chicken again. <laughs> and then you look, yeah, you just snap it in place right there. And then you gotta slide a pin through. I don't have to, but I'll... Papa's doing it just to make him more secure. You just pop that pin on there. See how nicely that fits? You know what? Alright, we get the second noodle. Oh, are you doing work? <laughs> Marshmallow's like, what is going on? Marshmallow, what's your wacky tail? Your wacky tail. Is that Fred? Is that Fred? Are you going to hang out with Fred? Look at Fred's position. He's so easy to get his pose. Oh, are they? Oh, nice. You got the cord ready. Papa just got the other noodles slid through. And you just snap it in place. Yeah, look. You can just stay right here. Check that out. It's like ASMR in here. ASMR! <laughs> really totally ASMR quiet. it up. Yep. Like All right, Papa's gonna slide that other pin in place and... just to be secure. We want to build animatronics, Marshmallow. Fred, how did you get in this position, Fred? What do you have to say for yourself? <gasps> oh, was that Fred? <laughs> Fred, I've never heard you so forceful. <gasps> oh, head dirty. Head dirty. Daddy's gonna do the wires real quick. And then, so connect the wires, red to red, ASMR. black to black, ASMR. Let's whisper and click, make satisfying sounds. Connecting the wires. All right, now it's head time. Why are we whispering? Because it's pleasant. Oh, he's got it. See, Max is sliding those two prongs through the holes. Slide the poles through the holes. All right. Nice, Maxie. Nice. He's kind of deformed. <laughs> Is he a little deformed? <laughs> He's just a little deformed. It's to hide the wires. Oh, yes. Like and his ruffle goes on. That is to hide the wires and his flappy neck. <laughs> Where'd you both get out, Brady? Oh, that looks beautiful. Yep, tool, be tool belt to clock. Papa's plugging in the adapter cord. Before we get crazy with the tool belt. I nice. Oh, <laughs> it's like a necklace. I love these cotton balls. They're very cotton ball-y. It kind of hangs down on your hips. It can go down over the cotton ball now even. Need this. Like this, like over the cotton ball. There. Perfect. And Max gets to slide the tools in place. Get that screwdriver in there. Because this tool baby is small. <laughs> baby ASMR. Oh, is that the hammer spot? Oh, nice. Well, look, look at him. <laughs> He's chomping you. Put this. All right, screwdriver. There. Ruler. Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh, they didn't sew the bottom. Oh, they didn't sew the bottom of the pouch. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Looks like mom's going to have to sew that. I can sew that pouch shut. Yeah, they didn't sew the pouch shut, bros. Oh, yes. Sinister Steve, that was a nice, easy production. Fred, are you prepared for this? All right, that's Fred. Fred, everybody. All right, so get in. ASMR. <laughs> okay, he's about ready, guys. <gasps> yes.
<laughs> oh, he's gonna love little Skelly Bones and little Nestor. They're gonna be friends. Hey, you should go check out the prices on new carpets. He tells jokes. He's a jokey guy. So does it kill people? Yeah. <laughs> I like him. I wonder how many phrases. That mechanism is pretty cool because it goes back and forth and up and down. Let's do a dad joke. Probably. I think they're all dad jokes. Oh, that was your first joke. We already heard that one. Look at this facial close-up. He just bonked me. Okay. The Home Depot clown. Remember, pitch this the, um, the executives. They were like sold. Yes, he is the Home Depot clown. He's got their colors. <laughs> He's got the Home Depot colors. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they just got a few words in and they were pitching it, and they're like, nope, sold, done. Oh yeah, a little tool belt worker clown with Home Depot colors. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh, I'll show the kids. Okay, so this is Shelly, and Shelly already comes made in the store. She's just a little three-foot creepy doll. She doesn't really have a name. I think it's just Haunted Doll. Let's see. Haunted Doll, yep. But we named her Shelly, and I am going to put her hair in pigtails. Look how cute she would look with pigtails. She will look so cute. So, yeah, I'm going to get some rubber bands, and we'll give her pigtails. How cute are pigtails on her? And let's turn her on so you guys can see. She's got a sensor or just an on and off switch. I did it all this. She is. Yes, I do. My dolly does it too. There's that music. Yeah, she's got creepy music. And look, guys, her dolly only has one eye too. See? Dolly only has one eye, just like Shelly. Look at this dress though. Look at the details. Look at the details on her dress. She's got spider web fabric over silk and then the gauzy uh, little petticoat thing over top. Look how cute that is. And then the velvet or the uh, whatever silky fabric. And then look right here, more spider webs. Look at that little crisscross there. How cute is she? I'm in love with her. I think she is so cute, you guys. Look at that little princess dress. She looks like a little creepy princess. So I think she only says that one phrase. Yeah. Let's do it one more time. Oh, how I love the color black. Don't you? Yes. Oh, how I love the color Yes, we do, Shelly. My dolly loves it too. Look at baby. <laughs> She's so cute. Where's baby? Oh, there's baby. Come get you some wipes from Papa. Hey, you wubby guy. And the little wubble boy. Oh, can you guys resist this he face? I can't resist that face. He gets everything he wants, huh, Papa? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just laying his head. Oh, he's laying his head on a Papa. Wait, he don't wait. He did wait his little boy. Oh, you guys, I can't get enough of this little puppy. He is the cutest. <laughs> it's so dear. All right, guys. It's time. It is time for the predator of the night. It's open on both sides except the middle. Yep. Okay, it's already ready to go. I both sides. Nice. It is time for the unboxing. <laughs> yep, Max doesn't want anything to happen. All right, here he comes. Yes. This is going to be so cool. Look at those wings. Oh my jeepers. How much those wings weigh? Oh, one wing probably weighs like 20 pounds. <laughs> There's the other wing. Yeah, what? yep. We're unboxing them out here because we're going to put them right there staring down at everybody. Yep, the swamp. This is going to be the haunt down here. 
all of this down here will be the haunt all the way walking down the side of the house all the way around oh look at that hand dang adjustable fully posable, fully posable. That is quite the arm. Oh, yeah. And there are pieces in here. Here's the big old honker base. It's as big as the 12 foot skeleton base. All right, there's a foot, pieces, limbs. Yeah, his head is awesome. Yep. Is it head 30? Head 30. Oh, there he is, bud. Let me just throw the plastic back in the box, too. Oh, there's his torso. Oh, the butt. Yeah, there's his little butt cheeks. What's with the pole necks? Yeah, the pole necks. That must be a good way to do it. Yes. There's a box of some things, probably poles. Oh, oh, Cassenders. There's a W butt cheek. These are for his cheeks. <laughs> now when I put a box, do you throw it down there? Oh, we're put them right here? Yep, facing down. Is this the down. right way? Yes. This is the only way he's going to fit. Mm-hmm. This is going to be awesome. Look at these wings. Is this, Look at is this the right side? Veiny wings. Oh, Max is getting the feats already. He's Are these a professional. the right way, Papa? Yeah. Yep. I'm open this box. I gotta put this in so I have more space. Oh, good idea. Good idea. That was an excellent idea. Oh. Got it. Okay. Uh, oh, Papa, remember this. Huh? Oh, the wires. I saw in the video it's six inches, so. Uh, oh, I'm my goodness. This is supposed to cut your hands right there. Yep. Why do they have to do that? What, wait, what is that string for? It, it's just a wire. It's actually wire. And it keeps them stable. Are these are the first one I've seen. Oh, these are extenders. Are they? Yep. Those looks like the extend Ugh. extenders. Yep. You're right. Oh, look at what Papa's doing. Pop. Is this like it? All right, Max. Oh, there you go. Got it. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the calves. Can I do the other one too? Look at those calves. What's going on? This one? Ooh, now that's sliding right on. Perfect, guys. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect calf connection. Is this the white way? Yep. That's right. Yeah, that's that part of the top. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, nice connection. Oh, the, those poles back there. Yeah, the H stack up in front. Look. See, now they go like this. I'll do this one. All right. We've got thighs on. It's thigh 30. Now we'll have to get some more beefy thighs from over there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's correct. Dang, these legs are really giving us some issues today. That one works perfect. Maybe it is upside down. Or, or no, I guess it couldn't be. Yeah! Yeah! We're done! There we go! It's time for the other thigh! For the beefy thigh. Nice, Maximus. Let's get that connection going. This how is me now. Get that connection together. There we go. Perfect fit. Look at those perfect legs. Yeah, just his legs are taller than you. Just his legs. Oh, it's torso 30. Holy to beavers. That part looks a little taller. Oh my gosh, look at this. Sliding the poles in the I poles. see the lights. Yep, there's some lights. Slide in the poles in the poles. Oh, that's how you do it. They just put their hands. Slide in the poles in the poles. Getting that torso on. Torse o'clock. Got to fit his diaper right over yeah. the thigh. <laughs> that diaper just doesn't want to go on. 
Oh, now I see the butt cheeks. I see what you mean now. He's got butt but cheeks. See, that put, on. see these have holes? Uh huh. Remember, wait, let's see. see these? Uh huh. These go on it. To butt cheeks. Butt cheek covers. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's the right one. It might be. There's a screw that goes on his neck, too. Oh, dang. Max knows everything. Videos. Yeah, Max has seen oh, every boy. unboxing video there is, guys. Boy. So if you've done an unboxing video of him, of the Predator of the Night, Max has seen it. And if you're Brick Thunder, he's seen your video about a hundred times, probably, huh? Yeah, he watches that Brick Thunder video all over and over and over every single day. A little tough putting all these parts together, guys. Max is adjusting the wings. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice adjustment. There's Fern watching us. Papa has to stick his hand in the butt Did cheek. Did you get Papa? Yep. Yeah. Got it. Look at those poor butt cheeks. The man has no butt cheeks. Wait, my boy say head 30 and stuff? Yep. Butt cheek 30. Butt cheek o'clock. <laughs> Look at those calves. That man is in shape. He, he's got this. He's got runner's calves. What should we name him? Frederick? Walter. I think we should name him Walter. Please name me Walter. I really like that name. It's very dignified. I named your gargoyle Walter. Got to lay him down on the box so we can reach his parts. Where's the school boats to school the wings? Oh, there they are. This to do my city two bolts. Two bolts, huh? See two bolts in here. Okay. They go on the wings. Nice. Wait, I'll tell you what they go on. There's a little hole right here. Arm 30. Gonna attach an arm here. But it kind of up, so it's not touching it. Which way do you want it? I want it like this. Because its wings are already gonna be up. basically how it is. Yeah. Just like this, Papa. Slide the arm right like over that. there. Perfect fit. You could put it up a little bit, Papa. Oh god, Whoa! See that one? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I was legit in there and scared out of it. Here's a nice view of this. Screwing the arm on. Look at that perfect like that. connection. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. The man has no head, and he has no butt cheeks. And he has no shoulder blades. My. Look at that, no yeah. butt cheeks man. Ah! It's getting me! Hey Max, high five. High five. High five. Oh, oh, yeah. I feel so sorry for this no butt cheeked man. Uh -huh. He has no butt cheeks. Means he can't poop in his <laughs> He can't sit. He cannot sit comfortably, save his life. And then you tighten it up here. Doing some tightening. Yeah. Is this the same? I want as the same as the other Oh, second arm 30. Just hit me in the he just beat you up. It's because we're talking about his butt cheeks. And he's very, very defensive down. about it. He's embarrassed. I see Next those velcros. Mm -hmm. Those are for the wings. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I'm so sad. So you tighten it in. Uh, just like the t all of these. Is that how they all are? If you want to move the arms, you have to take it off and unscrew it right there. Because these have to go in a groove where you put this screw into it. There's only a groove on one side. Oh. Hi. Hello. Entertaining. <laughs> Very what? entertaining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it really head o'clock? Oh, my goodness. I see there's a screw that screws it. Yes, Maxie. I can't put it in, though. No, it wants me to do the thing. Oh, all right, Walter. Walter. Oh, Walter likes me. He's Walter. 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 You gotta put some screws in see. here. They'll put it all the way. Well, you can watch the video later and see all of the okay. gloriness. It's a screw 30. Getting things screwed in there. Nice and secure, just like your dad said to. Huh? What? What's my song? Ring, ring, pretty all that. You gotta tighten some more stuff, just like Uncle Gary said to. What? 
What? <laughs> Are you surprised about my songs now? You know that mom yeah. sings interesting songs, huh? It's a happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday for Max Defer. It's a happy, happy birthday. You think you do it in the order they sing do it? Seems to be good. Yeah, they want the wire next. Wait, where is the wire? It's time for a wire. Papa's all favorite hate. time. This is our least favorite. Yeah, least favorite time. This Papa hates this. Yeah, Papa hates this. And I get it because it has to be tight. Oh. But it's very dangerous and precarious. And that's a tight wire. That wire gets we'll tight. We'll do it because Papa's. Done. Yep, we'll do it. We'll get it done because Max is nine. Wires do stretch out to like the skeleton. One of them is all stretched yeah, out. Yeah, got stretch overstretched. From the wind, it's just ah yeah. Yeah. through there. How effective as the ones were. Nice. I mean, not nice. Uh, oh, that but the other that side. That was easy. Now this the is other the hard side. one, and you got to oh, pull the other right. one down. See, and if you don't have gloves, you really have to pull tight, and it hurts yeah, your hands. Let's get gloves. Yeah, Papa. we could get daddy's gloves. That's small, Papa. We get gloves. <gasps> oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Good job, Papa. Papa. Good job, Papa. Won the lottery. That's the hardest part of this whole thing. And the skeletons have them. Um, most of those big props have them. Papa's not bleeding. He's oh, good. Good. No blood. Look at my hands no blood. too. Oh, whoa. Now I think it's the wings, right? Ma, I didn't stretch out the, the wing out. I need to stretch out one more. Wing time. You just put the wings however you want. We have to take the tag off his wings. Oh yeah, we've left our tag on Jack. Uh, well, Jack? Yeah. How are we gonna take that off Jack? Go, go pop the baby out. Why did they do this so I know. <gasps> Is that a crack? No, nah, it's just a bit they don't make this too easy, guys. Doesn't quite want to fit. Oh, there we go. Do you get Papa? Nice. Nice, that's his head. I guess screw it. This is a tricky one. Mama. Walter. Ew. That's Walter from Transylvania, remember? Yep. Ew. Is that why I wanted to name him Walter, I wonder? My subliminal mind? Yes, that's why you want to. Subconscious it. mind is thinking that. Da, 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 da. Let, let. <laughs> Walter. Take the wings and I can't do it. Oh my god! I don't know that's how you do it. Good job, Max. I gotta get this. What is that? You gotta screw it in. Now he's gotta tighten the screw in there that holds the wing in. Screw the hole. Definitely can't take these off in a hurry. Yeah. What? They should have put like holes in these because these are just going to be big parachutes in the wind. They should have put like yep. torn wings or something. Like, yeah, what? torn wings. We can tear them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm hmm. They will but be so you parachutes. can't take them off when it's windy. Not very Not easily. easily. But you can put them down when it gets windy. You can lay them down. Yeah, we could just lay them down, but. Oh, there's a wing. There's another wing. There's another wing. There's another wing. Wing o'clock. Nice. Yep. He's gonna screw it through the holes. A little tricky. Not even straight on the holes. It's weird. If I could just cut a hole like right there. Yeah. Sweet. There's his wings. Look at this big looming man. He's just staring at you, Max. You got Walter's head already. Yeah. Yay for Walter. Right, can you get his head out? Take his head out. So I can Gotta connect the two. This way. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Yeah, All right, Walter, it's time for your head. It's head thirty, Walty. I gotta screw that screw in. Gotta tighten it up. You do it. Tighten that neck up. We should just have to put the clips in now. Oh yeah. That's butt clips. The butt cheeks. It's time for the butt cheeks. Two for the legs and two for the arms. Are these for the butt cheeks? Yep. I'll see if I can do it. It's time for the butt cheeks. These are for the butt cheeks. 
wild system. Right? Yeah, <laughs> this is a wild system, guys. And they like they have these, so you can tie it down to it. Oh. Like, what kind of wind do you think that's gonna hold? Yeah. I didn't get these ones down. No. Well. Yep, got to put them together. I'll so. Worry about that. Freaking next year when I try to take this one apart. Butt cheek. Now we've got the W butt cheek. The I, best I, butt I, cheek I, of I, all. Do you see the balcony shaking? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the W butt cheek is definitely the best butt cheek. They don't make this easy though. This is the worst. It's one. just a lot of maneuvering and. It's get easier every year, not worse. Yeah, it seems to be getting harder and harder every year. Oh my heck. Yep, Max is getting the Velcros on. Hand me the other pieces. It's These ones? The shoulder pieces. Go we'll grab the plug. Our man has butt cheeks. Walter, we're oh, so yeah, happy for you. Now we get to turn them on and turn them off. Turn them on and turn them off, probably. Because you're animatronic, you can decide. Yeah. Can I decide how many um, tones we can turn them on? Mm hmm. It's your birthday. Yes, it doesn't even fit the molds. Not even yeah, it doesn't out. look like it's very good. What? All right, we're gonna stand him up now. All right, positioning the gargoyle. He's pretty big. It, you can't tell how big he is until you're, you see him in person, for real. Oh my gosh, he's so big. Max, he's so big. He's so big. Look at him. I'm so excited to see him turn on. All the neighbors are gonna see him from the other road. You can see him from the road just driving by. Everyone can see him. All right, he's turning on. Oh, his eyes just turned on. Button. <gasps> his head's sensor. moving. Sensor. Yeah, keep it on. His head goes up. He's on. It's on his belly. Move, oh, sweet. Awesome. Oh, he looks so cool. <laughs> Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared of heights right now. Me too. Oh, he's so cool, you guys. Dang. Dang. He's massive. We'll have to come out here at night. We'll show you guys what he looks yeah, like we'll at, night. at night. Because we'll we're going to put a light on him, too. Oh, he looks epic, Max. Right, we're gonna look at him from down here, guys. We're going down the stairs. We're gonna see what he looks like from down below. Look right here, Mike. Okay. Right here. Oh my gosh. Is that good? Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Look at him. All right, guys, it's pitch dark. We're gonna see what the predator of the night looks like. Okay. Yes. Max knows what's in this. Look, guys, it's the twins. All right, here's the little twins, the trick or treat twins. More tape. There's these little twins, an angel and a devil. There's the angel girl. Look at her little outfit. She's so cute. Legs, They're in there. I see her little legs laying in there. Oh, her hair. There's her little I hair. Got her. Yeah, she's cute. And her legs are at the bottom. How do I know which one? It oh, his legs are on there. No, well, you know. Yep. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Max has got the legs for the girl. May I? 
Yeah. <laughs> May I? <laughs> Thank you, Papa. She's got actual hands. hands. Does she yeah, have actual yeah, hands? Yeah. yeah, she does. Look at that beautiful prom dress. I she don't know how to. Do it. Papa just got the legs on the boy. Oh yeah, batteries. Yep. I'll get the batteries too. There they are. Look how cute they are. So I think they both need batteries. They're gonna be friends with Tabitha. Tabitha is gonna love them. Here's Tabitha, she's got a birthday hat on. Oh look, they're shy of each other. Little pumpkin girl's shy. She's too shy to see Tabitha. Papa's getting the batteries out of the boy. There he is, there's his little eyes. Nice. They should be right by the candy bowl, huh? Definitely. I think he has a crush on Tabitha. Oh, no, there's a wire here. We'll have to name them. Put the wire down to the skirt. And then... Hook them together, guys. I think we talk in tandem to them. Oh, yeah, now she's working. Awesome, Max. It's cool because they both operate off his batteries. Yeah, that's cool. I like how they talk to each other. Yep, sure. They're so cute. Oh. What's up guys, we're gonna test these two animatronics in the dark to see what they look like. Okay, you tell me when. Okay, okay ready? Three, two, one. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, they're probably just starting to play. You want me to turn back on? Yeah. Okay, here now. Oh, cool. So cool. I love them. Okay. And there they are in the day. Or the light. They're so cool. What's up, guys? It's actually the day after Max's birthday now. So we didn't have time to build this last night, but we are about to build what I call the Fogging Phantom by Techie. Yeah, I call him the Fogging it Phantom because I like that. that name. Does the fog out of his mouth? Yep, does the fog out of his mouth, and yes, he's yes. by Techie. Come on. Yeah, he's really cool. He's got big hands. Look at these. Big hands. Wait, is it actually made from the wood? Good. Um, yeah, it's made by Techie, so it's a good prop. What props does Techie do? Tons. We'll have to. I'll look it up and tell you. And I'll show the kids marshmallow. Look at little marshmallow. He's in his sling. He's in his sling because he just had surgery on his arm, guys. Yeah, look at that prom dress. Oh my gosh, Max is getting the prom dress out. Dang, that is one big prom dress. Yeah, guys, so poor Marshmallow just had surgery, so I'm just carrying him around in his little sling since he can't walk too good. So he's in a baby sling. So he has this cone on his head, guys, so he doesn't 
try to bite at his cast. He has a little cast on his arm. And he looks sleepy. He's a sleepy little guy. There's a hose that just came out for the frog part. That's... Oh, there's the mechanism. Oh, there's his head. Cool. There's his head. I got poles. Max got poles. There's a gigantic prom dress here. Is it, can I hold it like this? Yep. Oh, wait, no. Yes. You're a master. Sloth poles. Mm hmm. And there's more poles over there. Daddy just got yeah. in another mechanism or the speaker box. That's the base. Ooh, look at those poles. Nice pole display. I'm going to put them together. And we've got our skellies over here chilling. Yep. How easily do they come apart? Probably pretty easy. My pants are too slippery. <laughs> And there's Headless Jack. He's really short now because the windstorm like broke his um, pole, the pole that makes him really tall. So he has to be short now. But it's okay because he didn't break entirely. Now we can still use him. He's just a widow short guy. And here's our display. Our display is on. We've got stuff going. We've got a black light on the 12 foot skeleton. We've got inflatables over there. There's Giant Jack. Look how big he is, looming Giant Jack. We'll go show you the inflatables while they get those poles out of that box. Me and Marshmallow. Here is the Nightmare Before Christmas inflatables. This is our display this year. There we go. Get them all in there. Here's our new display. Not a lot of little ones this year, mostly the big ones. There it is from this angle. Pretty cool. To this side. Got some jumping spiders. One jumping spider there. We got another jumping spider here. Here's our inflatable display this way. Here's the gargantuan spider we got up. Oh yeah. Looking good. Got the dino skeleton there. Yep. Yeah. I'm coming. We're coming. Me and Marshmallow are coming. We're coming, aren't we, Marshmallow? Oh! Max just got a catalog for animatronics. That sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, creepy. Ooh, okay, inflatables. Look at that horse with the skeleton in it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, it's great. It's got yeah. That's tall. Oh, my. This is a copy of from Spit Allen at the Girl Oh, that. is it? Is it a copy? It's a copy. It's a copy. And, and he does this. Oh. Pops his head scary. Up. Ooh, creepy. Look at that. Ooh. Those are cool. Clowns. Do you notice that pull in the back? Uh -huh. feet, I'll just close no pull. Oh. Papa was no, just don't need those anymore. Papa was just looking at the instructions. Finding the best next steps. That's what it says, Hunt Streeper. I call him the fogging phantom. But Hunt Streeper. Skelly's got it. Got is the, the official name. Oh, Skelly's got the uh, catalog, huh? Put the base right yep, here. Gotta put the base together. Let's move this stuff. Slide two pieces together to make a bigger base. Max is just moving things aside so we have plenty of room to build. Okay, I got G. Oh, Max is gonna put the G to the G. Excellent, nice click. Nice click Why does sound. it matter what's pulled? I guess it matters. There's a C pole Max is going to snap in there so satisfyingly. Snap. Perfect snap. It's like Rice Krispies. You got another C pole to snap in. I love the sound they make when they snap in. So satisfying. Nice snap. Three good snaps. We got three good snaps. D to D and H to H. Gotta find the D's and the H's. All right, Max got a D. Pop that in for part of the leg. Oh yeah. Got another D. Yes. We got an H. The most exciting of all poles is the H pole. Everybody knows that. It's, it's a wildly known fact. H is the best. H is the best pole. Oh, E to E and I to I. I see, two E's and an I. Max is on it. Snap. Another E. 
snap. Yep, oh, now we need is. an eye. Oh, there's an eye. Last Good satisfying call. snap. Snap perfect. Than yeah, me. he's he's a tripod. He's got three legs. Three legs. Yeah, you can't tell with this prom dress, huh? Now what? F to F and J to J. So it's the control box. Yep, this control box. It's okay. this triangle shaped object. Okay. Triangle time. It's triangle 30. That's actually his pelvis. This would be his pelvis. Nice work, Max. Well, that's a tough bugger. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. pop so pop, far, daddy. so easy. Pop, pop, daddy. <laughs> yeah, this one's going really nice and smooth so already. The cloak and plastic bag over the waist. I got it. I, this the cloak the and the plastic back is included in the prom the dress. All right, we've got back included. Oh yeah, let's see that head. Oh yeah, baby. That head looks fierce. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Daddy. Ooh, daddy. <laughs> I need some more. Whoa. Ah. Ooh, he's ah. in mouth snow. He got like that. He got like that. <laughs> All right, drape the prom dress over the poles. It's quite the prom dress. Is it? Nice. It's a techie. We've got a techie here. All right, we've got a curvy pole on top. That looks like it's fine. Dude, this thing's going together so nicely. Very easy. As opposed to our predator of the night. It's a little hard. It's a little tricky. Oh, nice. Arranging, bud. That prom dress looks super. It looks, it looks runway ready. RR, bro. Is that white? Is that white? You don't want me <laughs> Poor little guy. Yeah, we he's not guys. Ricky Obadia. I think he's really sleepy. Yeah? He's just a cone baby. Alright. Okay. Prom dress time. Ooh. Those are nice. Nice poles. <gasps> Squiggly poles. Looks like they've got marshmallows on them. Yeah, because he's hunched over pretty good. Yeah, that looks right. It's just like, this is what I'm going on. Oh. <laughs> the instructions are a little lacking, guys. Well, you just have to read them. Yeah. The yep. Got a little light reading to do if you want to do this prop. I think Dr. Skelly is a little intimidated. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Skelly, he's just, he won't even look. Yeah, he won't even look. He's like so intimidated. Yeah. He's like, who is this guy who's joining our apothecary? Apothecary? I don't know what that means. I don't know what I'm talking about. That is a nice silken prom dress. Nice silky Very daddy. Very nice silken prom dress. <gasps> Head 30 already? He looks bigger than last time. I know, he does look bigger. I swear when I was And he's bigger. animatronic too. He raises his head. What? He'll raise his head up and down at you. Head 30. Head 30. Head 40. It's head time. He's got a lot of servo motors in here. Servo motors. That is a fancy, fancy. Oh, look at that connection. Oh yeah, that is one hunched head. That is one hunchy boy. Yeah, he is, huh? Yep. There you go. Is it cord 30? Gotta be, I think, at some point, right? Yep. Wait, arm 30? Yep, it was head 30, now I think it's cord 30. Either cord 30 or arm 30, we'll find out. That is such a billing palm dress, it could go over Max too. Oh, Max. Lovely fabric. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of cords. Yep, the fog and the lights. And Pop is connecting some wires very efficiently because they're marked. It's easy to see. R to R. So easy. There's a Velcro right here. Oh, yeah, look at this head. Literally, the whole spot's Velcro. Ooh, look at the front of him. He's so hunchy. That. He's so cool. Why did it look like this? Oh, 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 oh. I only know it goes like this. Dang, nice. Nice one, buddy. Papa, look. I, pa Papa, I only know. <laughs> I think it's this one, Papa. Yep, because the thumbs are in the inside. Am I right, Mike? Mm hmm. 
Where's this piece? This is a fast one. Oh, Max is attaching the hand to the thing. Very nice, Max. Why does it look like this? It's like a marshmallow. Yeah. Small nice. one and a big one. Nice attaching. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a high five. High five. High five. High five, yeah. Ah, the light. It bothers me. I'm crawling. Oh. I'm crawling. Oh. I'm crawling. Oh. Creepy. Oh yeah, look at the side. Look at his hunchness. He's a hunchback of Circus Maximus. He's the hunchback of Juniper Drive. Huh? Definitely got some back problems. Yeah, he's he's got scoliosis. <laughs> very painful life. It does look painful. <laughs> the other arm. This one's pretty easy to put together, huh? Yeah. Not bad. He's Not bad at all. Feet. The manufacturing process is probably a lot better than that. Yeah. Are we going to say it was a fog machine? Yeah, do you want to try him out with the fog yeah, machine? Oh, the low fogger? Yep, guy? he's a fogger. Maybe, like, can we do a low fogger? We'll have to get ice for it. So maybe tomorrow night. Nice arranging. Oh, look, there's the arm. Nice and on. He looks cool. I like him. Nice. And then there's still a part right here. A curious shape moon shaped part. <laughs> Whoa, uh -oh. we've got an extra part. It's a neck pile, I'm guessing. We got another extra piece. It's always good. Oh, that's awesome. So it's a fog connector. Thing, yeah. And it sits on there like a lot of people. Where's this piece go to? We're not sure. <laughs> Papa's peeking under the robe. Papa knows. He found it. Oh, ah, yeah. He'll be 12 feet if he wasn't hunting. Mm-hmm. He's pretty tall. That head is big. It is one big old head. That's a big noggin. Look at your baby, Max. In the golden sunshine. I have no oh. snow. I have baby boy. Aw, oh, him CB. Baby boy. Yep, Max calls him baby boy. Look at that baby boy in the sling. He's a little baby. Oh, he's tired. He's gonna fall asleep. Look at that little fella. Oh, he's a little baby. All right, we got our fog machine hooked up. Oh, you just started. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so cool! Yeah! Max, he's awesome! That is! That might be our best one! Dude! He had really good reviews. Oh my gosh, it looks like he's like looking at you guys. Now I know he moves a lot. Holy moly. That is one good animatronic. This guy is awesome. The uh, Hunched Reaper, is that was his name? Hunched Reaper. Or I call him the Fogging Phantom. His voice is cool too. Oh my gosh. I love him. He's so creepy. He looks like he looks right at you. What do you think, Max? What do you give him on a 10 to, or 1 to 10? 10. 10, me too. He's embarrassed. He's like, don't look at my prom dress. It's being wasted right now. And we had customers that just drove by. Did you got customers? Oh, 
the fog starting. That's it. Yep. It just started coming out a little bit. Yep, there we go. Oh, yes! Check him out! Hunched Reaper. He is the best one. Yeah, his whole body moved. He's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I love him. Dude, that's going to be the star of the show this year. Definitely the star of the show. Oh my gosh. It is. Oh. <laughs> Max, he's yours too. Oh, I'd be so upset. We'll lay him down. I love him. Yeah, we can put him in the garage. I love him. I love his eyes. Oh. Oh, the, yeah. And we could shine a green light up at him, too. Dude. Highly recommend the Hunch Reaper, you guys. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. This thing is legit. Legit. I love him. I can't even say enough about how much I love him. Okay. Yes. Everything's perfect. He's easy to put together. Yeah, it's got a great connector. Everything's good about this guy. He so highly recommend him. This is like all our favorites right now. He is awesome. Love him. Oh my gosh, his movements are epic, huh? Such a good purchase. Max just said, look at his booty. Look at that booty, guys. I think technically Hunch Reaper's got a booty. Like right oh, yeah, technically. <laughs> his hunchback. Oh, yeah. You can see from the side. He doesn't have a booty. Ah. No booty. No booty. There's a booty right here. Bootylicious. And also, like, we need to note where everyone else is, like, animatronics would be on one pole. On He's on three poles, guys. Three poles. And it might be because he moves so much. Yeah. And he's just great. I'm giving him five stars. Five star rating from me. So good. We just got a delivery. We just got a delivery. And I think this is Lucky Bottoms, you guys. I think it's Lucky Bottoms. Yeah, that's probably Lucky Bottoms. But I don't know. That's a big box. That's a very big box. Yeah, careful of baby. Yeah, this is Lucky Bottoms because... This box is pretty big. It's like that big. I hope it's Lucky Bottoms because ah. it could be like a trash can or something. Where's the scissors? You need scissors, guys. Wait, I can open this without scissors. No, I'm gonna use Um, Max has three brothers, Cookie. Hi, Cookie lover. Three brothers. Yep, he's got three brothers and a sister. One, one and a half brothers. Yeah, and Cam. Okay, Cam's I'm like a, a half Yeah, Cam's like a brother. Yeah, because I always come to this house, like, yeah. every single day. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep, I think this is Lucky Bottoms, you guys. I hope it is. I, I, I just want to do this. Okay. Yep, yep. Lucky Bottoms. Lucky Bottoms! We got Lucky Bottoms, guys! Yeah, Woo! Lucky Bottoms! Read the story! Lucky Bottoms! You have to read the story. Yeah, we do. Here, Max, you can put them on the ground. Lucky Bottoms! Can you get baby, then? Can you get baby out of the lake? He won't hurt him. He goes like this. Yep. <laughs> Marshmallow is Max's brother, so Max has four brothers. Okay, let's read the story of Lucky Bottoms, guys. Okay. Lucky truly believed that laughter was the best medicine and would do anything to keep the crowd rolling down the aisles. Unfortunately, Lucky couldn't handle the silence when the fans headed home and the theaters went dark. It drove him into all-night clubs where desperate clowns risk everything. 
including their lives for a laugh. It only took one nearsighted magician with lousy eyesight to make his legs disappear for good and lucky to lose his mind. <laughs> That was the funniest story a, a, I ever heard. <laughs> he had to go to clubs. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I think it's a triangle. It's a triangle. Wait, wait, wait. Look. It's a triangle. Uh, wait, I got one arm. I can assemble this by myself. Yeah, Max, Max wants to assemble it by himself. Look, look at me. Right. Cam has triangle arms. My left clots. My left Oh, nice. Yep, Max knows all about him already. Why do you have springs? Me too. I have a question. Why is the springs? I don't know. Wait, I can fit in this box. I want to try to... Hi, TMNT. What's up? How are you? And Cookie Lover. Oh, Ryan, that's a great idea. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cam's an animatronic. Ryan, that's a very good idea. I like that idea. We have, though. We've played board games in, uh, not live streams, but in a video. <laughs> like on um, the Five Nights at Freddy's game, we unboxed the Five Nights at Freddy's board game, and we played it in a video. Hi. Hi, Cam. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, guys. Hi, hi. All right, there we go. There's the mechanism in the base. It's probably shoulders. Max knows just what to do. Uh huh. Oh, TMNT! That is so awesome. I'm assuming you love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> which is very cool. Cam is just in the box, guys. Yep. And Marshmallow is just like, what? <laughs> the founder of the Fort Cluj cult. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's true. I can't move baby. He's bothering me. Okay, baby. Me. Do you want me to hold baby? Yeah. You need to hold a baby? Bye, bye, to hold a baby? Bye, bye, bye. Come here, baby. I need to hold the baby. Big Papa's going to miss this. It's okay. Whoa. He won't mind. He won't care, probably. Yeah, he'll be okay. I know what to the do. Clothes. This looks, looks good. Max is already doing this really good. Mm-hmm. He's really good at this stuff. That now you learn from his dad. Mm-hmm. It got quiet for a minute, huh? We all got really quiet. Bye. Yeah. Say bye-bye. I'm going to the <laughs> Getting some clothes on, Lucky Bottoms. Might need some help. Well, it's going to be hard for me to do anything, so we'll have to get Daddy. Because I, I have to hold the baby and... I'm going to wait for you to get Papa. You want me to get Papa? Okay. All right, let's go get Papa. One sec, guys. Doo -doo. Ah! Let's find Papa. Hey, Papa. Max wanted you because Lucky Bottoms is here. Yeah, Lucky Bottoms is here, and he's trying to put it together himself. Me! Me! Yeah! <laughs> hey, baby. I hold you. You want Mama hold you? Stop. Did your mama hold you, baby? Did your mama hold you? Because then I feel like I'm going in on the airplane. Bye-bye. 75 plushies, Cookie Lover? That is so much. Yeah, I don't know where Alex is, Jay. Wait, so he has 75? Oh, Hallow's Dude has Lucky yeah. Bottoms, too. That's awesome. He said he's an easy setup. And then uh, Hi, it's Moises, so aka we'll Gotcha Club like fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they've got the arms have boingers on them. Yeah. Oh, Spirit yeah. Halloween fan, Marshmallow. He said hi to you, Marshmallow. Yeah. Spirit yeah. Halloween yeah. fan says hi. I can see. I know when you're in the box. No. Put that on the other side. It's hard. You got it. Kids already said it's easy. You can't say it's hard now. Oh, Ryan, our next unboxing video is probably Scooby Toilet because that's what we already recorded it. I'm just finishing the Legos for it. And that might be the next one. But we do have Poppy Playtime, Rainbow Friends, Five Nights at Freddy's. We've got Amazing Digital Circus coming, Billy Bust Up coming, and some Trollge. So we have a lot of stuff coming and a lot of stuff here already. 
We've got the Poppy Playtime and Rainbow Friends already and the FNAF stuff. So just because of Halloween, Jack it's taken us forever to get these videos done. Hi, I'm Jack in the Box. Yep. But as soon as Halloween's over, we'll have all the time in the world to do more videos, oh, more unboxings. Jack in the Box. Nice. Wait, Halloween's <laughs> also Lucky Bounce is going to be in my room. Yeah, you want to put them in your room? What is this one do? Oh, it's Moises. Loves marshmallow. He's he's being such a good boy. I'm just holding him. Yeah, being a good boy. He loves to be held. It's that easy, easy. It's yeah. You get it? Mm -hmm. Now we got Velcro. Now we got Oh, I'm gonna be for Halloween Fazbear. Uh, me and Dad are gonna be the mom and dad from Adam's family. So I'm gonna be Morticia Adams, and Papa will be Gomez. That's what we're gonna do. All right, he's done, bro. Tell me when they bring Yeah, we don't want anyone disrespecting our mods. Jay's like our bestest friend. Yeah, he'll bring that band hammer down. Yeah, <laughs> he'll bring that band hammer right down. That's what Papa said. The band hammer. Can you tell me when they're done? Yeah. So I'm gonna come down. Pretty much. I wish he had batteries. That would be so great. Do you know you can get adapters for plugs to make them batteries? Yeah. Uh, like on Amazon, they have adapters, you plug them in, and they have batteries in them. It's Hey, look, it's a pizza shop. <laughs> Max, Noah says you're his favorite YouTuber. Not unspeakable. Yeah. The, <laughs> the leader of Fort Plush? Plush your pet. Maybe you'll have to be the leader of Fort Plush. There is a real three-foot Freddy animatronic haunted haunter. I would die to have that. Where do you get it? Can you get it? I would love that so much. And Max is going to be huggy for Halloween. Yeah, he does feel weird. I haven't had time. Uh, we need a plug, plug, plug. Right there. Oh, yeah, right up there. Scooting closer facing this way. Yay, Melinda, what's up? Uh, Welcome back. I can't believe we've been live streaming for almost three hours. That's crazy. Oh, Marshall is going to be scared. He's going to be scared. All right. Oh, we've got two Noahs. That's awesome, TMNT. Max, guess what? Noah's been watching you since he was little. He said. And how little? Yeah, how little, Noah? Where's the TMNT Noah? Buttons. Oh, Poppy Playtime's name is Andre. Where was the sensor? Hi, Red Man. Welcome back. No. Oh, Ava is a cute name, Cookie Lover. So is Avery. Avery and Ava are both cute. There he goes. There he goes. Wow. He's so cool. <laughs> He's laughing about something. Wow, Noah. That's so cool. TMNT, Noah. Max, he's been watching you since he was five, and now he's ten. So he's been, five years? Yeah, he's been watching you since you were probably three, doing inflatable videos. That's a long time. He's been watching you since then. Oh yeah, Ryan. That that's that was fun. Yeah, someone must have told him to find you. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's laughing at marshmallow. Look at marshmallow. What are you doing? Oh, what do you think, marshmallow? He does not like this one. He does not like it. Nope. Doesn't like it. Do I like that, Mommy Lou? <laughs> oh, Colby, no sass in today. 
I think it's either on or off. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Ban Ban and Jumbo Josh. That is so awesome. Isn't that disturbing though? Thank you so much, Ban Ban. That is so cool. Okay, bye Ryan. I hope you feel better. Max's favorite YouTuber is Unspeakable. But he also loves Sniper Wolf and Infinite. <laughs> Good night, sweet child. Okay, bye, Cam. Yeah, Spirit Halloween fan. We love Jay. We don't want anyone yelling at Jay. I'll bet. I'll pull that band hammer out. Yeah, Papa says he'll ban someone for Jay. And Marshall, too. Papa loves Jay. He's so heavy. Is that so heavy, but he's heavy? Baby, baby. He's a day one. Yeah. <laughs> he is a day one. -er. Yeah. Jay has been around since day one. Can someone open the gate? Yeah, Colby probably needed Can a timeout. Open the gate? Yep. Is he the only mod in there right Yep. There's no Alex, just Jay. Alex hasn't been around for a while. Yeah, I haven't seen Alex. I'm trying to find another mod. Yep. Jay can pick out a mod. Dang, Red Van, you're nine now. That's awesome. And that all the bottoms. Mm-hmm. Easy peasy, huh? Yeah. Oh, Hi, come here. I'm testing out of bed like Oh! oh. <laughs> Yeah, Max is demonstrating what's going to happen when he's trying to sleep I'm tonight. Papa said to him, when I'm asleep and he's, at, when he's like, for school tomorrow, uh -huh. this will be my own mom. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Max just added a new mechanism. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's only three more days till Halloween. I was gonna say that. Oh, yeah, okay, say what you were gonna say. <laughs> three more days till Halloween, and we just got a new animatronic that we're gonna put in our display. Something, yeah. This is something them? Max has been wanting since he was five. Wait, can we tell them? Sure. Remember we made the Harvester of Souls? Yes. Yes, we got the Harvester of Souls, finally. Wait, after. Lucky Bottoms tomorrow. Yep, and we're getting Lucky Bottoms tomorrow. Hey, we need to keep if this. you guys saw our old videos when Max was five, he was obsessed with this thing, and we just couldn't afford it back then, and Max made his own. He made his own Harvester of Souls. It was great, that was genius. It was pretty genius. So I'll put a little clip right now so you guys can see it. And then I'll link the video in the description also. Now that I have you, you shall be mine forever, ever, ever. It's time! Now that I have you, you shall will be mine. But let's see what we've got going on in here. He's got a hair net. He's got a hair net? Oh, the girl, yeah. And then guess who I've got in Look who's in the baby thing. He got baby marshmallow. He's in the swing with mama. He's in the baby swing. He's in the baby swing. Got some poles. We got more poles. Poles for every occasion, for every type and size. Oh, he's looking creepy. You got it. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Look at this ensemble. Oh, yeah, it's a big box. 
Look at this situation we've got going on. Look at all these necks. All the, yep, all the clippies. He does not want the hairnet on her right now. Let's get these zip ties. I'll start twisting. We gotta twist a whole bunch, guys. There's tons. Got so many little twist ties to undo, guys, to get him out of the situation that he's in, which is a very bad situation. He's not very sinister right now or menacing. He's just bunched up with his little girl. Oh, there's the adapter. They are scooched together. This is one little package of horror. Look at this horror package. It's oh, as wow. if she was embracing him. Oh, there he is, the harvester himself. And there's his little gill. Little gill. Come hither, little gill. Come to us. Oh, there she comes with her little contraptions, her fog machine attachment. Here's some more stuff. Oh, his hand is actually on a bar. Oh, other hand is on a bar. Oh, it's the arms, of course, duh. Duh. Max is uh, getting the little girl Guess what? This situated. Is... Guess what this is supposed to be for? Oh. Travis does hands. Yes. Can you get untie this? Mm-hmm. We can try out one of those new foggers with it. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, we got how many? Three new fog machines? I think we got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we get to use one of our new fog machines on this. Yeah, we have so many fogging animatronics now, we're gonna have to decide which ones we're gonna use on the haunt. Yeah, we got two of them. Yeah, we have so many foggers. And, you know, we just have a limited amount of fog machines. I'll show you guys our fog machines. Here's our collection. Look, oh, yeah, there's our two new foggers right here. And we're gonna use one on him. And then look, these are all our fog machines. So I guess we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fog machines, but I think two of them are ground foggers, specifically ground foggers. That big honker one right there, and I think this one. Be cool, we got all set up for Halloween. I've even got bubble juice for this bubble fogger. You got plenty of fog fluid. Oh, Max, you're so kind to take care of her. You gotta brush her hair. Yeah, you gotta brush her hair. She can't look like that. She's got to look respectable. Look at that hairdo. I gotta give her pigtails. I wanna ah! give Darling Dolly pigtails and Grave Watchy. Yeah, yeah, I really want no. to. <laughs> Max, you have your own girl now instead of a vacuum and a net. <laughs> Ooh, he look at Papa the, over here. He had the dialogue all. You can watch the video, but he had the dialogue all. Yeah, Max had the dialogue memorized. completely memorized. The the what? Oh, yep, there's the mechanism. I'm going to put it on these three poles. We got a three polar. Max is a master at this now. Sticking these poles on. The satisfying snap. I love that part when it snaps over the button. It is pretty chilly out here, guys. We've got snow in our backyard, actually. It snowed a couple days ago. It's about 45 degrees, I'd say, right now. Oh, we're gonna trade him out for another inflatable. I think pumpkin stack, buddy. We should do pumpkin stack, huh? Yeah, that one keeps falling over because his, yeah, his uh, veil thing weighs him down so much. When it gets wet, it just bogs him down and he can't even get up. He's struggling, so we're gonna replace him. Yeah, we'll replace him when we're done with this. There is a prom dress. Ooh, that's a saucy prom dress. She's just jealous, she can't wear it. I'm so jealous! But she's got a pretty prom dress too. Don't worry, little girl, you look beautiful. And you even have little stocking tootsies. I want that prom dress! Marshmallow, are you? It is, huh? Check it out. That is like the Fogging Reaper's arms. Ah! Ooh. Oh, yes. To grab the girl with. Can you believe we actually got this? I knew if we didn't hurry and buy it. We actually bought it on Amazon, guys, through the Spirit Halloween store. But I knew if we didn't get it now, then they would go out of production, would never be able to get it again. I actually thought they were out of production already, so that must be like overstock or something that they're selling. Oh, look at this creepy man. Sir, you are so creepy. 
You gotta oh, get this. Like yeah, I'm creepy. You gotta get his prom dress situated. Is it arm 30 already? Yeah. This thing is like not much to it. Yeah. yeah. I could tell by the box it was pretty small. Wait till Marshmallow gets his winter clothes. The mommy just bought him. I got him some, I got onesies for him, a little coat, or little jacket, a hoodie, Why? little shirts, and a winter coat. Why? Yeah, and he's gonna get his clothes tomorrow. I am so excited. I know you guys are watching this for animatronics, but you're gonna hear all about my puppy's clothes. Is that why mom and clothes? So Papa's gotta slide this arm through the pole, or stick the pole through where it fits and it's hard to see in there. Oh, I heard a click. Yeah, it's really hard to see in there. I'm impressed. That was that was nice. Yes. Forever, ever, ever, ever. Oh yeah. I can't believe little Max is finally getting his harvester of souls. After all that we've been through, after all that time and not getting it before, I just can't believe they still sell him. It's so crazy. It's awesome. Look, he's just like, a, he's just a little stumpy man just hovering. Oh yeah, get that veil up there. Nice. Nice, bro. That is a menacing face. Where is my little girl? I feel so incomplete without my little girl. Some might think I'm sucking her soul out. No, I'm giving her vitamins. I give her vitamins. I care for her, just like a father cares for his child. You got the other arm about clicked in. There's a Velcro at. Oh, the Velcro, huh? Already. Oh, the Velcro sticks right there, guys. Nice movement. Nice procedure. Yeah, it's pretty chilly today, buddies. Oh yeah. <laughs> just put her in backwards. Look, he's just like waiting. Okay, Max, now you can do it. You can be the guy. My hands are cold. No, you can reenact it with her My and you. My hands are too cold. <laughs> oh. Feel them. Feel them. <laughs> yeah, your hands are cold, little dude. All right, now we need to position the little girl. What should her name be? Because she's really creepy looking. About like... Snarty, snarty what? the girl. Oh, look at these fall leaves, guys. I am so happy. I love fall leaves. Fall leaves. It's making me so happy indeed. Yeah, there's a piece of fabric with some holes cut in it. Is that supposed to go on him? Mm -hmm, find out. It's got three. Yeah, extra piece. No, oh, it's there not. we go. Got to connect that mine. girl. We think like this is an extra piece. This is supposed to go. We'll find out. Papa, this was supposed to go on here. No, right, we'll find out. It hasn't said to do it yet. It's a little tricky, huh? Oh, I know. It was supposed to go on the page. You gotta connect it on both sides, I see. It was to, it's supposed to go on the page. We don't have to even put it there. I want to do that. All right, this is tricky. Sliding it through, guys. It's a very difficult operation. So you're not like pointing the same way. Oh, something's always just a little bent, huh? But this is supposed to go on the base. Yep, just right over the base. To hide it. Oh, that's okay though. I want to put it on. All right, that's, that's pretty much set up there. Up the right. We've got to weave this up through his sleeve now, guys. It's like the work of a surgeon. Now look at the hose guy. He fell no, I'll t I'll tether him really good when we're done. He's having a rough time. He needs to be. He needs a tether in the back and probably the front too. She's got pool noodle legs sticking out. Look at her little tootsies just hanging there. We got little tootsies just hanging. Little tootsies. Uh, you need to help us. Yeah, we'll brush. We should brush her hair, make it beautiful. Yeah, she needs to be beautiful while she's getting her soul sucked out of her. Papa's doing Papa stuff. There's some Velcro. Just basically to hide the holes. Yeah. Oh, look what Max got. He's got a comb. Oh, this is really not Let's it. Let's brush Snorky's hair. Can you help me? She's gonna be bald. Snorky! This is really Yeah, Snorky 
she she's really happy. Max cares like about his, her. His hair is lovely too. Yeah, he's got beautiful hair. I can't have comb. It's like an old maid yeah. kind of, huh? Mm -hmm. You have to start at the bottom and work your way up. All right, we brushed her hair, but hey, guys, it's not really doing that much, and it's just pulling it out. So she's gonna have a rat's nest while she gets her soul sucked out. That's just how it is. Well, a, rat a rat's nest. If your hair's really messy, they call it a rat's nest. We got. What's this? Ooh. What does it do? It's for to help un undo the little buttons. They don't really work out like them, but. That's and the there's the clamp. The that's for the fog machine. Those things are so awesome. Yeah, much better than the old like Arctic Dragon way. It's just awful and ratty. Mm. Arctic this Dragon and Ratty has that. They have like yeah. an old one you just kind of try to slide on there. And That's awesome. Hope for the best. These are better. Here's the plug. We're going to insert it into the to the voice box. It's not worth it. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, we're just going to do that one? Okay. Uh, we're going to tilt it forward. All right. The cords are being processed. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, the thing, yeah, okay. The pad. Ooh, this is precarious. Good job, buddy. Nice. All right, get to unbox this frog machine. It's a Froggy's Fog. So this is a Froggy's Fog. Yeah, Froggy's Fog is the best brand that we've used, right? Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. they're my favorite of all. I know, I'll get you. <gasps> I ordered you skeleton gloves. They're in your room on your shoe thing. See how sweet this is? You just stick it in here. Oh. And then you just like pop it on here like this. Oh, that's so easy. Oh, you turn these right. See? Oh, that's so nice. I mean, if you someone tugging on it or whatever, it's not going to be great. Yeah. He's peeking. Oh, he's tired. There, you found him. See if they fit good. Are they good? Sweet! Max got skeleton gloves and they glow in the dark too. Yep. Those are cool. This is how it's gonna be on Halloween too, I think. It's supposed to be pretty cold here in the old Utah. Look at that tiny gentle hand. Look at that. Oh! So innocent. But then you look at what was her name again? Sporky. <laughs> Look. Here's her tootsies. Ew. Whoa, she's flying. She's a beautiful flyer. Oh my. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> disturbing. That was disturbing. I guess she's a gymnast. Oh, Ooh, she's flying. Oh. <laughs> now that'd be a whole other animatronic. <laughs> yes. Max just added a new mechanism. <laughs> no twerking. No twerking, little girl. This is a family channel. Sporky. Inappropriate, inappropriate. I can't remember. I think I've said her name differently every time. Sporky, though. We'll just stick with Sporky until I remember a different one or come up with a different one. All right, got the fog machine all hooked up. Papa just put some fog in it. And we're gonna oh, plug it in. Hold on. Which 12 foot uh, inflatable should we put there instead of him? You think pumpkin stack? Pumpkin stack or bare bones or? What about sibling wreath with the gravestone? Yeah. He, yeah, he's um, 10 feet or eight feet, so he might. No, he's like five feet. Yeah, it's got to be a tall one. Do you know um, Pomni is 25 years old? Pomni's 25? That's his five feet. From Amazing Digital she's Circus? five feet. Oh, that's, she's tiny. She's a tiny. Oh, there's our giant ghost. Plague Doctor. Ghost. Plague Aww. Doctor. Or the Victorian Reaper, whatever you want to call him. The rest of our 12 foot. Bye. Zoltan. Zoltan! We haven't seen you in a while, Zoltan. Do you want Zoltan? You, it's whatever you want. You've got. The yep, there's the Reaper with the tombstone. Yes. You want him? Oopsie daisies. Okay. Alright. Say it once, say it twice. 
Halloween. All right, Max wants this Reaper at the tombstone. Uh, do you know on a Friday at school, they were playing songs and they did that before Christmas and that would be birthday songs. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's six feet, so he's going to be smaller than the Reaper, but you can still see him. Yeah. Or the giant ghost or the pumpkin stack because the rest of them are in the pot. Like the pumpkin stack. Okay. All right, Pop is plugging it in. Wait, Ma, do we tell the kids? Why? Do we tell the kids where we're going to put Lucky Bonds this year? <gasps> Wait. Oh, he's turning right, after, on. After, after. Okay. Look at me. Oh, he's on. Just as all the others have. He's lifting now her up. that I have you. He's lifting her up. Your soul will be mine forever. That is such a good idea for an animatronic. Oh, he stole Sporky's soul. Yeah, the Look fog will start me. in a minute. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Love it. Your soul will be mine forever. So awesome. I'm so excited we finally have him, guys. Yay. How does it know when the fog comes out? Like it does it at the right time? Okay. See, here's our Reaper. I really love this guy. He looks so cool, but he just falls so easy. What, do, what should we do, buddies? I think your um, your Reaper would look cool there. Let's go. We can look in the pod too. Guys, we're gonna put Lucky Bottoms on the trampoline. Yes, we're putting Lucky Bottoms on the trampoline, guys. Yep. Look at all the leaves. Oh, yep. Witchy's hat's on the ground. Papa put it there so it wouldn't blow away. Look at me. Whoop, scared me. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. getting hot yeah. okay good probably especially the first time it takes longer yeah the fog's coming out okay oh now it's sucking in okay we'll try the next time Guys, we're trying to figure out where the sensor is. Is it on his nose? Oh, it's just a weird black mark. Oh. Got a weird... Oh. Look at me. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. I'll film it again when it gets dark, so you could just leave it as is. That's time, so cool. Her, a little bit more. Kind of Sweet. Okay, here's one more adjustment. Let's see how this goes. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Oh yeah, perfect. It's just a little windy. 
That's perfect. That looks awesome. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Okay guys, as soon as it gets dark, we'll show you again one more time, but at night, what it looks like. Just okay, now it's night, guys. The dark is gonna take a second you. to go, but. Your soul will be mine So awesome. Can we do another one? Yeah, we'll do another one too. That's so cool. So cool. I love him. Look Here he goes again. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. So awesome. Just a little windy. Oh yeah. So great. Woohoo! Yeah!